Hey y'all, happy Sunday. How is everybody doing? Oh my God, look at y'all showing up for your girl. Y'all know I super appreciate each and every one of you who are here. Y'all know how we get down. I'm talking to the beef sector, okay? What's up? Hashtag beef sector in the motherfucking house. I cannot wait to speak to y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you guys. Happy Sunday and welcome to the Sassy Show, darlings, where we're going to discuss, deliver, redirect some deliciously entertaining, diverse perspectives. Let me get to it. Y'all know how this work. If you don't like this part, go refresh your drinks for goodness sakes. Moisturize those lips, and I hope you've washed that ass this morning and smelling all nice and fresh, okay, bitches? And, bitch, that's the theme of the show. If you don't give a damn, bitch, I don't give a fuck, okay? <laughs> okay. What's up, Fifi? Team Pretty. What's up, Nikki Baby Cousin? What's up, Klondike? Hey, Benz, how you doing? My boo, Queen Diva, Dr. Lashonia. What's up, Berber? What's up, Jills? What's up, Tracy Cakes? O-E-S. Thank you so much, honey. I appreciate you for sure, for sure. What's up, Nova? Long time no see. I guess I've been gone though, huh? 
What's up, BR girl? You go by another name? I feel like I know that. Look at Ken Nola over here. I know you're going to act right and act bad when I tell you to act bad, nigga. When I say come off that motherfucking porch, you come off your sick ass porch, okay? Thank you. What's up, Terry Damo? What's up, Straight Out of the Line? What's up, Robin A? Let's go, Jills. What's up, Cassie? You, I blew you up. You already know why we on ready. We stay ready, so we ain't got to get ready. Team pretty. You want to be my moderator? You got to be pretty. Okay, I like pretty bitches. Hey, little cute booty. Hey, Sparkle Libra. How you doing, honey? What's up? Y'all just been in here chit-chatting and speaking. Hey, Gwen Jones. Hey, living boo. What's up, Phoebe? Phoebe, I don't know if you saw my message. I said, holla at me on IG. Holla at me on IG. The first and only co-host that I ever, ever had and will ever have. Catch, okay? What's up, Eartha G? Hey, Voodoo. Hey, First Cousin Camp Me. What's going on, Tiara? Hey, girl. Hey, Rainy Putz. How you doing, honey? Let me, hey, Buddha Bell. How are you? Buddha Bell, what's, what, uh, what sector are you from, please? What's up, Miss Gerald? Good to see you over here. Hey, soul sister, honey. How you doing? What's up, CEO? Taylor, girl, you know it's good to see you. I hope all is well. Hey, amazingly beautiful. What's up, Sheila? My bougie sister. Bring it bougie today, bitch. Bring it bougie. Is this Shay Beezy? That Shay? I'm assuming nobody ain't gonna take the name Beezy, right? What's up, girl? I hope that I think that's you. Hey, Sandra K. Good to see you. What's up, so so? What's up? Hey, the queen. How you doing, honey? Precious Pisces with your sweet self. Hey, King Kios. Always support and I appreciate you. Hey, Sonia. What's up? Phenomenal. Good to see you, honey. Very good to see you. Rissa. What's up? Hey, Joyce. How you doing? How she? Joyce, didn't just, Joyce don't want to come down and just speak, y'all. She want me to know that after three years, this is her first time catching me live. Thank you, Joyce. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I would do without you here, Joyce. Thank you, honey. Hey, Victorious Liche. I had to always read this name second. What's going on, Mr. William? I can't believe Mr. William stole somebody's name and just stole their name. I can't, I can't, I can't and I shan't. What's up, Blackberry Molasses? Hey, Mitri. What up? Hey, K-Fit. Y'all, K-Fit, I, I guess I can say that. I don't know where K-Fit lives. Let me not say that. But K-Fit wants us to have dinner when I'm in Chicago this summer. So we'll see if Sheffy is going to rally her people and get a good bra and get her hair done and wear something other than a muumu. Um, thank you, back chat. If I if you see yourself in blue, then that's what it is because you definitely uh, I definitely would blue you up if I need you. I think I'm okay. Normally we're okay over here, but you know y'all didn't invited these outsiders, so I don't know what the fuck is gonna go on. So, but we ready, okay? But anyway, we'll see. So maybe you guys will see me and K Fit taking out Sheffy. We're gonna see, and then I have a surprise guest that absolutely wants to come that I think you guys it'll be a hoot. What's up, meow meow? Hey, Margie, how you doing? Sally, if I, uh, Sally, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but you guys already know that, don't you? Ooh, Chantel, how you doing, girl? Latasha Gunn Phillips in the motherfucking house. Hey, lemon berries, a hot ass. You know that name makes me laugh. Lord have mercy. Hey, Dr. Sophie, what up, brother Boo? Hey, Cash Apps, how you been doing? Cassie, you, I'm, yeah, of course, I, I think I'm positive I just spoke to you. Hey, PDP, good to see you. UTC in the motherfucking house. I always say UTC, uh, YTC, but I know, because y'all know what I'm saying, UTC, YouTube. Hey, Mrs. Gwen. Hey, Diamond. What up, Miss Toby? My day one and a half. Hey, Chantel. I'm kind of getting tired. So, you know, we'll see how long this lasts. What's up, Key? How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Swirl Girl. I can't stand a YouTube punctual bitch. I thought it was a little late. That five or six minutes wasn't good enough for you, homie. Damn. E motherfucking Virgos, bitch. Hey, 1942. What's up, Shawnice? Hey, Nene. Y'all about to be mad because I'm getting tired. What's up, Barn Dog? What's up, Barn Dog? Honey, good to see you. Hey, Miss LA. Okay. Did I speak to Margie Williams? What's up, Brookie? Yes, I got my Pepsi and coconut chips and I'm ready for the show. Thank you for sharing 
Let me pause here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for sharing. I was, I knew that I wasn't in the algorithm, and you guys know I don't ask to be shared because I'm not necessarily a sharer. So you guys sharing me really, really means a lot to me. I super appreciate every single one of y'all. What's up, Joy Queen? What's up, Memphis in the motherfucking house? Hey, if you don't give a damn, we don't give up up. Hey, what's up, King Roman? Excuse me, I'm nosy. Oh, I'm a mosey to the front row. You want to be seen in the front row? That's what's up. Hey, Miss Queenie. What's up, Nessa Boo? What's up, sophisticated brat? All right, y'all, I'm about to go to the bottom. So anybody I didn't speak, where is Jay Dunn ass at? Hey, inner peace. Because she going to swear I did not speak to her on purpose. Wanda Mathis. Hey, Shantae. Where Uppity crazy ass at? Uppity, you got a little sector section over here in a minute. You got a little section. I ain't fucking with you, but I'm fucking with you. What's up, Ivy Pearl, my sister? What's up, Spicy? Spicy, get it the fuck right on goddamn uh, LSA today, okay? Do you hear me? Get it the fucking right today. Expose what's up, boo. Back chat, leave me the entire fuck alone. Leave me the entire fuck alone, unless it's something that I need to fucking see. What's up, the bushes? You know, I got to cuss. Cha. Oh, Lord, code is here. Of course, code is here. Code is enamored with sassy, darling. What's up, y'all, y'all, boo? All right, y'all. I think I got mostly. Hey, Gigi. I think I got most of y'all. If I didn't, y'all just talk. What's up, M, M. Renee? What's up, LA boss? Shut the fuck up, back chat. It's about 15 of them. No, I don't have that many people in my back chat. What's up, Lex? I miss you, bougie sister. Miss you on these streets, bitch. What's up, Lady Nika? I heard about your show. I got to go over there. after. I don't know what's going to happen today, y'all, but y'all need to, uh, I heard y'all need to give Lady Nika a click and a view. I don't know what it was about. But we definitely giving you a click and a view uh, after my show. What's up, vibrant, up down, upside down, smiley face, Angie, sweetie, how you doing? All right, y'all. Ooh, I almost, baby. Hey, black girl with curls. What a cute name. All right, y'all. Let's get down to it. Hey, it's Jay. Three hundred. I'm about to. I'm skipping people and I'm scrolling. So if I if I missed y'all, y'all know not to take it personally. I'm trying to do a show. It's five hundred motherfuckers in here. I obviously cannot speak to all of y'all. Land T, what's up, girl? Good to see you. Um, hey, Brick girl, sweetie. What time is it over oh, across the pond? I guess I could do it myself. 11 plus 6 is 7, 8, 58, 49. Hey, just lovely. You being cute? You got to be cute. Hey, PCG. All right, y'all. Let's get down to it. I got a couple. Y'all know how I do my show. I'm feeling a little irritated because I feel like I have to explain myself. And I, oop, hey, Ashton, Leslie, Honest Row. Hey, y'all, Foot Soldier, did I speak to you? Is she giving my sticks out to pretty bitches that I should have been the first one with a stick? You know, this is a bad bitch right now. You know what I'm saying? This is a bad bitch, bad bitch Brie. N nope, no mod stick for you. How much would you charge them niggas for a mod stick? I need $500 for mod sticks, nigga. $500. I said I was going to say nigger today, <laughs> but I can't say it. <laughs> Next level. Hey, honey. All right, y'all. I'm going to go down to the bottom and then I'll just read. Uh, no sector at all. Just watch Housewives reviews and stuff. Well, how do you get over here? Okay, no sector at all. When people say that, I be side eyeing y'all. Child, you got you, you the the T sector ain't leading you over here. Somebody led you over here, honey. Hey, Jamila. Hey, Jean Hope. It's too many people in here that I be I know I be missing in chats. Just Andrea. Hey. So I mean, hey, Choo Choo. Trillery Banks in here. See, I always missing Trillery. Hey, Bougie. Hey, heels and lipstick, jailbird. Y'all up in here, Jay Dunn. There you go. I said, Lord, if I don't speak to this motherfucking Jay Dunn, baby. Hey, cutie, little pressure. Hey, Kimberly LaKendra. All right. I keep saying I'm going to the bottom, but I am scrolling, but y'all still talking. And like I say, if y'all want me to stop talking, then you motherfuckers should stop, probably stop talking. 
Hey, Duchess, I just go ahead and bring it. I was personally invited to this live, so stand down, Moz. You're shut up. You ain't got the uh fucking top. To, you ain't got to say nothing to my Moz. You stupid. But come on off the porch. Come on off the porch. Talk about you was uh personally invited, but she's right. Who y'all silly? All right, y'all. I'm scrolling. I'm trying to get to the bottom. But you motherfuckers, hey, Muffy Boo. But you motherfuckers won't stop talking. Why y'all won't stop talking? Why y'all want me to stop talking, but y'all won't stop talking? I'm literally still scrolling. A dry. <laughs> hey, unapologetic me. How you been? I'm hey, oh Denise. See, what's happening here is you motherfuckers will not stop talking. Lord, who didn't let Betty White in the house? Who let Betty White in this motherfucker? Hey, Roxy. Hey, Felicia, baby, Betty, Betty, hey, Shayel. I ain't gonna even ask Betty to act right. Betty don't have no act right. What's up, uh, Hoodie? How you doing? Welcome to the Sassy Show. Baby, ain't no need for me to ask some of you motherfuckers. Uh, where is BL bitch ass at? And where is uh, Meanwhile? Burn Dog, I hope I spoke to you. You always nice and speaking to me. Hey, Queen Mo, good to see you, honey. I'm scrolling and y'all still talking. I mean, my God. How much do I have to? Oh, Lord, if these people in the back chat don't leave me alone. How much scrolling do I have to do? I need my mouse for you hoes. The sassy show almost got me killed last night. Bernadette. Oh, Bernadette. What's up, Max? Good to see you, honey. Bernadette. You better stop, baby. I don't even, that ain't even caping. You better stop telling the truth about sassy. You better stop that. I said, Lord Jesus. We ain't we we ain't even talk about that. That was such foolishness, though. Y'all, I'm still scrolling. God dang now. Oh, thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all. We got to get to it, but shit, I don't. Hey, Shauna. God dang. What the hell's wrong with these people? Did I speak to Dr. Soapy? I hope so. Tweety, how you doing? I saw you when I was scrolling. Toya, hola, como esta, boo? You bring your shade too, baby. Shade, baby. Hey, okay, I like the name. Child, I'm still scrolling. Lord Jesus. Baby, y'all be liking to talk to each other. I am woman empowerment. What's up, boo? Child, I'm still scrolling. My God. Have y'all had to block anybody yet? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll try. Anyway, listen, while I'm scrolling, my God, we are going to, let's do the old school. Um, we, the finesses believe, but can y'all, did y'all get that out of here already? I'm, I'm assuming y'all got that out of here already. I need a yes or a no, maybe from the back chat so that I can, because we definitely not having that. How disgusting. What is wrong with you fucking weirdos? Spilly boy in here? Hi, huh, James. JC in here? I still ain't seen him. What's up, honey? Thanks, Voodoo. I just saw it. I'm assuming. Thank y'all. Thank y'all in the back. They got it, y'all. It's gone. Yeah. Now what the hell is going on? Dominique Devereaux, I see you as I'm I'm scrolling fast with these two fingers. Tony to the motherfucking Montana. Oh my god, I can't even get it. Hey Coolin, how you doing, honey? Baby, I, I don't even know what to do. How in the fuck am I supposed to get to the bottom? Oh, god, okay. Damn. Okay. What's up, unlocked? All right, so this is how we're gonna do this today. Uh, hey, Daquan. So this is how we're going to do that. Can I? No, I can't slow down no motherfucking chat with 600 people. You hoes be in a thousand of room chats and y'all be fine. Catch it when you can or watch the replay, nigga. Um, check this out. So y'all know how the show goes. Uh, let me give a slight agenda. We are. Hold on. What is Lisa Ling talking about? Hold on. We are going to. I have two clips that I want to play. I hope Uppity is in here because one of them, I, Brianna asked me, told me when we were talking about the James situation that we need to take him off of a pedestal or he, that you, he didn't ask to be on that pedestal. And then I said, well, that's just like if I were to dock somebody and Brianna said, well, why don't you dock somebody? So this is all Brianna's fault. So I doxed Uppity. So I do have footage of Uppity's entire family. If Uppity has a problem with it, then, um, I did speak to you. 
Damn, ODS, I did speak to you. I literally called you my brother. Shut up. Okay. Hey, Sunny Boo Boo. Sunny B Boo. But um, so Brianna asked me to dox people um so that I could come off of this imaginary pedestal. So I doxed Uppity. I felt like that would be the best person for me to dox. So we're gonna take a look at uh one of her family members. Hey, Pillow Talk. We are going to, I'm gonna give some advice to the unattractive women. Um that I really think will be quite helpful. Uh, and then I am, yes, I just saw it. I just saw it, babe. So they got them. They said they got it, y'all. Sorry about that, but they got it. Mods are on it. You got to chill. I'm just seeing you. You know I need you. I'm going to need a lot of water breaks. I got to stop talking so I can tell y'all what is going on in the show. Okay. Um. So... I'm, I'm doxing uppity because of Brianna. I want that. Hey, wow. See, sorry, baby. Uh, I am going to give uh, advice to the unattractive people. Then we're going to get into the recap, right? So my recap is going to be the town hall meeting because I thought it was pivotal. Um, then I'm going to uh, talk about a few other things that are just shout outs to people. Then I'm going to talk about dragons as it relates to the sector. And then, of course, I've been forced to talk about you guys as new little friends that you lovingly call the Umar boys. And then it's going to be open panel. Everybody knows who knows me, how I do open panels. Ain't no sitting up on my link, posting up. Uh, not going to happen. Um, but we will rotate you out. So if you have something to say to me, it'll just be me and you talking and chit-chatting. And then I'll rot rotate you out for the next person. It's a shame that I have to give those rules because we have so many new people. So, um, you know, just wanted to let them know. Sheffy talked about you earlier. Good to see you. Um, is it really that fast? Sorry, y'all. Y'all, I already, they got, y'all just know that I can tell that these mods are getting these people. Um, so refresh or anything that you need to do, but they're literally like sniping them as soon as they get them. So if you come over here, I unblocked anybody that I have blocked because I wanted you to know that, uh, oh, I didn't read this comment. Sassy, you have so much class. It's embarrassing how Brianna acting of hunger over the Umar boys. She allowed them over to disrespect women because she's desperate for pink. That I don't think that's true. And I'm sorry that I had that up there for so long. I thought it was, it was a paragraph. My apologies. Uh, I don't think that's true at all. And I just took it off because it was offensive, but I'll talk about it. You know, I don't need, I don't need uh, you guys to, to prompt me what to talk about or who to talk about just respectfully. Right. It's just, I don't need that. Um, did she not speak to me and ODS yet? I don't know what the fuck y'all are on. But I literally highlighted your fucking comment and spoke. Like, what's wrong with y'all today? Is this the energy that y'all want me to have? Like, it's ridiculous. I'll just start cussing y'all out. I don't have time for it. Thanks, boo. Good to see you, honey. I really don't have time for it. I really don't. I mean, my God. I literally, did you see that while see? Like, I literally, like, fucking put her shit up there. Then she got ODS's fucking back. He's wrong. Both of them motherfucking wrong. Ooh, these crazy cousins, child. Ooh. I did speak to you for Ashton. Just time yourself out. I did speak to you, Ashton. It is not my motherfucking fault that y'all can't hear today. So just stop it. Hey, Bush baby. Anyway, child. But um, shut up. Who said that? Spicy. Spicy, I just got out the shower, bitch. Um musty, sassy and musty in the same motherfucking sentence. You just time yourself out too uh, spicy. I'm, a, I'm assuming it won't be the first fucking self time out you have to do. Musty. How dare you, bitch? Hey, Ari. Yeah, can you hear? Hey, Nikki. Cousin. I think I spoke. But anyway. Child. Um, uh, what are we talking about? Oh, let me go ahead and dock uppity. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, because I'm sick of uppity shit. I bet this will get her ass off my back. <laughs> Y'all not going to think about me differently if I dox uppity now, will you? <sighs> Hold on, y'all. Now, this isn't uppity. I, figure, I figured, you know, uppity is so motherfucking resilient. So I figured that it wouldn't really phase her if I dox her. 
So I'm going to dox her aunt. Okay. So hold on. Y'all ready to see up and get your, get your screenshots ready. Cause baby, we don't, we doing fuck shit today. Hold on. I hope I got this right. <laughs> Tracy, shut up, Tracy. <laughs> and then who is that telling me don't do it? Who is that? Hold on. Hold on. Who is that shit? Peach Cobbler, I hope I... Look at Latasha. Please don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> it's too late. I'm changing. I'm changing. I'm going... This is the motherfucking beef sector. I'm changing. Hold on. I hate that y'all can't really see this shit. Hold on. Let me make it, try to make it bigger. This damn MacBook. I don't be knowing how to make shit bigger. That ain't gonna work. Hold on. Let's do this one. Okay. All right. This is uh, Uppity's uh, Ainy, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Look at that. This is where up to get this shit from, y'all. Look at this shit. We're gonna listen one one more time. Look at this shit. This is where up to get this bullshit from. I'm so sick of this shit. You're running the family. Bruh. Look at this shit. Look. Now, what kind of sense does this make? Look at this, look at this kid. Watch up and steal that shit. Look at this shit. I can't. I just, I can't. Anyway, so that was my first docs. I'm kind of proud of myself. I don't think it was too much. Was that too much? I don't know. Well, no. If I wanted to dock Shaquem, I would probably, I probably would, <laughs> I probably would have one that was better than that. But uh, hold on, y'all. I'm fucking up my shit. Oh God, I fucked up my shit. This damn mat. Okay. Um, but sorry, Uppity. I had to do it. I mean, this not. I mean, I had to do it. Hey, Chrissy Love, this is where we are. This is what they're telling me. This is where we are, and I have to. I have to fall in line. So, but what I will tell you, Uppity, if you if you come back and you do a live, and a live is in my motherfucking name, I'm doxing. I'm doxing uh, the next family members. I ain't gonna even tell you. I'm, I'm doxing the next family members on that ass. That's just that. That's how we playing it now. Anyway, so. Let's move on. Uh, the second thing that I want to share with you guys is I just think like, listen, I know you guys think that I'm always full of shit and that I'm uh, always being sassy. But when I say this, I am so, so serious. Like this is for all the really, really unattractive women who have low self-esteem, who have a hard time in life, who are socially awkward. I found somebody for you guys, and I am so happy that I did because everybody knows that I'm just here to help, and I want to introduce her to you guys and um, just let you know that there is someone out here for you that can assist you, thank you, Fag, with the self-loathing and the hate, self-hatred that you project, project onto others. I want you guys to know that there is someone to help you. Her name is a bit difficult. Hey, Dreamy. So uh, I will tell you her name. This is her. Let's see if we can go bigger. Okay. She does have a uncanny resemblance to our very own clown weirdo, Ashy Larry, a.k.a. Trish. However, this is not Trish. Now, I did not dox Trish, so I don't know if this is Trish's family member, but obviously they they have the same issues. But this lady, instead of wallowing in her self-hatred, 
What's up, Nubian warrior? Thank you so much for the super chat. Instead of her wallowing in her self-hatred, she is trying to help others with their self-hatred. I'm sure it's not Trish Indigo. And hey, girl, let's hear her speak for a minute. And then I'll give you guys her channel name. Give me a second. And I want to also read her uh, description. Uh-oh, she's pausing a bit, kind of like Trish too. Hold on, give it a second. Come on, baby. Uh-oh, I guess this is for some... Oh, this is for some type of effect. Go ahead, baby, talk. Huh? Is she mumbling? What is going on here? Hello? We here? Hello? Ma'am? Could you, ma'am, we're just here to, huh? Ma'am. Okay. okay. What happened? Oh, Lord. Hello, you're live. You're talking to yourself, but we're here. Right, so okay, okay, okay. I'm to this. Uh -huh. My friends today are not, but I'm jumping on here because in 30 minutes, roughly 30 minutes from now, we are going live. You are we live. Have a special podcast. Okay. Oh, on sure. our Patreon uh, page for the oh. Patreon members. Okay. I'm going to be interviewing okay. Dr. Sonny Barrett about neuroscience, brain hacking. Oh, getting right. us to rewire our thoughts so that we can get what it is that we want. Yes. Hallelujah. More. Hallelujah. Peace. Hallelujah. That's enough for you, baby. Hallelujah rewire your brain so that you can stop being down on yourself about being ugly i just forgot that motherfucker's name damn what is this motherfucker ugly motherfucker's name anyway I'll, I'll i'll put it somewhere i'll get it in a minute i just i just uh oh, damn it see i'm not subscribed to her because i have no no need for like the ugly girl language or the reading the room or the self-loathing talks in the morning and looking in the mirror and saying repeat after me you are pretty you are thank you lynn morris you are pretty you are kind you are worthy but i just thought it was so awesome that there's somebody out there for the uglies oh god i'm always doing the lord's work anyway speaking of the lord's work um you guys know do you know that I thought I had been back for like a month? That's how, this is how B sector time works. So I guess Lent did not end until like almost three weeks ago. So I've only been back like un, a little under three weeks. Oh, Lord, y'all and tired me out. But everybody knows, I well, it doesn't really matter if everybody knows. But the way that I do Lent um, as it relates to the B sector um, is I'm a real, I'm a chatter. I'm a consummate chatter. I'm a consummate panelist. Um, definitely go live. I, you know, um, I do my community walls. So my way of sacrificing for YouTube on land, I did many other things, but the YouTube part was to restrict myself from dropping down, from hitting panels, from doing community walls. I missed you guys too, uh, while see, hey, Black Pearl and from going live. That's a lot for me. Okay. So I, I did find it interesting, the overhearing and the rumblings. Hey, Miss Paulette smooches and the rumblings about people criticizing how I chose to fast. All I'll say to those people is why don't you fast from YouTube? I've never seen you guys do anything in regards to YouTube as far as leaving for 40 days and 40 nights. So I would just turn that, turn that projection around to yourself. Hey, Catherine Powell, why don't you guys try to restrain from YouTube for 40 days and 40 nights? Doesn't matter that I was occasionally watching none of your fucking business. None of it is your fucking business. I just told because I have friends over here and cousins or associates, whatever you want to call them. And they would have been like concerned about where the fuck I was. You left for 30 days because of jail though, baby. Cool. Then come on now, baby. Come on. Now. I don't want to bring that up. I don't want to bring that up, but why don't you guys, but you didn't criticize it either. But why don't you guys try to do that? A lot of people said it's Stacey Roberson. Were you one of them? Because you know how you be doing me. More than a few people said it. I said, child, look at them trying to overly criticize Sassy. 
but we'll get to some overly criticizing sassy bitch if y'all don't look in the motherfucking mirror and leave me the entire fuck alone anyway hey bj um okay so that was that we got the name up there. That's the name. If you, if you're unattractive or you're having self-esteem issues, Pete, please go to this lady. I do not know how to pronounce her name. You it's been on the screen here for a minute. Please go to her, subscribe, click view all of that. Um, because I would love to see you guys, um, uh, whole again, right? I would just love to see you guys whole again. Thanks, Kimberly Black. Good to see you. What happened? I'm not, I mean, that's what Coolie said, though. Spicy, I wasn't trying to get at her. I fuck with Coolie now. I'm just saying, but Coolie trying to act like she did it on her own. Chum. Um, okay, let's get into the recap. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It, you know, y'all know we have this thing where if I'm going out of town for work or I leave for any length of time, y'all act a motherfucking fool. And this time was no, well, I'm going to bring you into it, Stacey. Did you want to go to the clouds, baby? Did you want to go to the clouds? Because as soon as you come down with that smart ass shit, that passive aggressive shit, I'm going to pick on you, darling. That's the way it's going to rock. Ain't nothing changed. My God. Hey, warrior. Um, <laughs> Victoria, so they kill me. I don't be fucking with them. I don't start with them. I finish it. And then they be like, oh, why did you bitch? You think I, girl, my name is sassy. And all that passive aggressive shit, girl, please stop it okay so um i was on lint blah 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 every time i go out of town y'all are acting a fucking fool i'm like are y'all serious right now this time was no different it was like the day that i left y'all started acting a fool something actually happened and i can't remember i don't think it was the rob brack and janet video uh, oh, Janet, um, Langston told me about you guys' conversation on your panel. I'm okay with you. I was fucking with you because you was fucking with Miss Paulette. That's all. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't hold on to shit though, honey. So I, I don't have no real problem with you. Um, but shit, I forgot what happened. Like soon the day I wasn't supposed to come live. I was like, are they fucking serious? I was like, oh God, they get on my damn nerves. So Anyway, the, the crust of what happened was a lot of new people just, it was like one day I looked up and I'm like, oh my God, there's a lot of new people. What's up 40 no more. Thank you so much. Uh, I was like a, it was like a lot of new people and you know how we're used to being at least like one or one new person at a time. I don't think we've ever gotten like a gang of new people, even when Mo three came over here. Hey, T Danielle, I can't and I shan't, darling. Um, even when we came with Black Sector, Mo three, anybody. There's never been just like this encrust. It's like one person will catch your eye. You kind of get to know them, or Tracy's talking about them, or something like that. Shut up, Duchess. And or Tracy's talking about them, or Brianna's talking about them. And then either they stick or they don't. But a whole like group of people that are ironically claiming that they didn't come together. It was a little it was odd. Right. So uh, that's what I'm, I was seeing. And I was like and I was getting names wrong and shit. I didn't know who was who. Like it was so fast. It was just like, well, and then I remember thinking, who is code and who is binary? Like I just thought those were two different people it was funny. So by the time, so when we're going to start at the um, town hall meeting is when I really started being like, oh shit, now they got James's attention. So I thought this was um, interesting on one hand, like a swarm of demons, honey. My God, what's up, Morgan? Uh, like a baby, not bees, but demons, because bees are good for the environment. Okay. Okay, Mitri. So when I see that they, I'm hearing, I can, I remember overhearing Jay Dunn saying that they had the nerve to talk about Treasure Lane in an unflattering way and didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. That was the thing, right? So I'm thinking to myself, I don't think, uh, I don't think JC is going to do anything about it. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think he's going to. Hey, Purple Peach, everybody been asking about you, girl. I told him you was in class. He was in class. Hold on, y'all. I got to do something. I got to do something, 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 something just ain't right. 
Hold on, y'all. Sorry, I got rid of it when I was uh, doing something else. So my bad. So sorry about that. Sorry about the disturbance, minor disturbance and interruption. I need to do something because I forgot to tell my mods. Hey, barn dog. I heard a rumor Shakim and then want to be known for being from Lenin Honor Sector instead of Umar. I, what the? What are you talking about, barn dog? I don't. I don't even understand what that means. Are you correcting me, telling me that I need to? No, they Umar boys, honey. I don't. I don't know what that means, baby. Hold on. Wait a minute. Sorry, y'all. I'm almost there doing what I need to do. Okay. Um, I don't know what that means, barn dog, but I don't, I don't really care. They threw, they threw talking about the, damn, they threw talking about the beef sector. That is what they do go from sector to sector. Well, they're not done, darling. They're not done. But anyway, all right. Um, so then James has his, his town hall meeting, right? So in, this is my you know, lim lemon honor. I don't know. I can't read. I don't know what y'all. I don't know what y'all talking about. Oh, you were being messy and you missed. I was like, what are you? Why are you trying to correct me? Okay, gotcha. We got some made up. Okay. So then, this is my words. I haven't obviously talked to James about it. But this is how I saw it. I saw James is kind of like, well, this is weird. You know what I'm saying? Who are these dudes talking about me? And then getting the story wrong. So let me just, let me show them who the fuck I am. Right. And I get that energy. He goes live and a whim, this, I'm about to say this motherfucker, but I don't want to be disrespectful to JC, but this motherfucker got 1.4 K in the chat. Boom. Automatic. This is who the fuck I am. Okay. Everybody's clamoring to click his link rightfully. So everybody's in the chat. We, this is a, this is an old school town hall meeting. He shows them exactly who he is. And I believe at that point, everybody backed the entire fuck up, right? What's up, Lisa Monet? They backed up. Now you, I don't have to tell, show you who I am or tell you who I am, excuse me. I'm just going to show you who I am, right? So I thought the town hall meeting was great because it was kind of like, well, what, what, are, what are we going to do? Because it was great for a lot of reasons because you cannot deny the fact that this situation is different, right? It's just different. And they are coming over here with brute force. Like they like, no, bitch, you gonna like us, you know? And this is this is what it is. What's up, ghetto? And um, you gonna like us, or if and if you don't like us, in my case, then I'm gonna make you like us, which that's probably the energy that JC was feeling like, damn. So he comes live, he does a town hall meeting. Everybody is kind of like, okay, we have different, you know, what points of view about this, but obviously we're not going to fall out over oh, these new ass niggas. That ain't what we do. Um, but everybody is laying down their own, you know, law. That's beef sector. You know what I'm saying? As much as y'all love the, you know, hey Chanel Huffman, as much as y'all love the uh, the get along, go along gang references. Hey, Miss Belinda and all that bullshit. Most people are just like, this is what the fuck I think. This is how I feel. And this is what it's going to be, you know? And then they change their mind or, or alter their opinions as time goes on. So this is what I'm seeing at this time. I'm seeing Bree and Nessa are like, hell yeah. You know, um, we cool. Like, okay, this is what y'all trying to do. If you want to play, it's going to cost you. This is this is what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lady Nika at the time and Fates. Hey, Demita Joe. Good long time. No see, honey. Lady Nika and Fates is like, fuck them niggas. I don't like this new ass shit. I, I ain't going with it. That You know what I'm saying? ODS is kind of feeling him out. He doesn't really know what he's feeling yet. Um, James is, you know, showing him, you know, showing them motherfuckers who the fuck he is. Um, I don't think that I think by this time, Sean is gone. Oh, I did not talk about Fi. Shout out to Fi and whatever she has going on. It seems like it's definitely, you know, positive. I, I love that. If, you know, if you want to be Shalina, who you actually, who you are and go back to your um, um, spiritual roots, I'm going to support you. And if you come back as Fi, babe, I'm going to support you. I didn't know what the fuck that was that happened with you and your channel. Nobody couldn't even like wrap my mind around it. I was so appalled. I thought it was a disgusting, malicious act. 
And I don't even understand it, quite honestly, because I didn't even know that there was an issue or that you had done any fucking thing to any fucking body to deserve that bullshit. But you know what? God is good, honey. God is good. And perhaps you needed to sit down for your own self and, and get back, you know, grounded. And that's just how the universe works. So look, look, look at what happened. You see what I'm saying? So definitely wanted to take out a few minutes to say shout out to motherfucking five to the babe. Okay. And everybody should be going over there and supporting it. We all know that we want to see the mess, but we all, I mean, most of us are spiritual. So to give her a click and a view and a drop down and just let her know that you're still supporting if you were a supporter or if what she went through uh, endeared you in any way. So I just shout out, shout out, motherfucking shout out. What's up, Iris? Okay, back to this. So then everybody's doing their own thing, right? So I didn't see any group think. I didn't see any, uh, oh, you like them, so I'm going to like them too. Lord knows Ness and, and, and Bree weren't like, well, are you going to like them? I'm going to like them too, girl. You going you gonna to have them on your panel? Oh, you going to, uh-uh. It was, it was a separate, it was just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Stop, spicy. That's not a, a moment for you to be mean. And ain't no moment for you to be mean. You know what the fuck I said was true. You don't like her, just leave it alone. Now, damn. Anyway, y'all know how spicy is. So... Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, um, everybody is doing their own thing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I saw the move. I like the move. I absolutely did not what subsequently, what happened subsequently. And I spoke about that on Brianna, but at the and I was going through some of the same feelings. Um, hey, Mrs. Boyd, hey cruiser. Uh, hey, Lisa, if I didn't speak, I think I did speak to you though, but hey, girl, but I, uh, I didn't like, uh, ZX and that whole thing and the predatory stuff. I mean, just off rip that whole Craig, I fucking love Craig, Craig, something wrong, mentally wrong with Craig. And I like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I thought it was funny and I love that Craig did it to Rob Rack, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause that motherfucker deserves it. Okay, he's y'all know something wrong with uh, with Rob Rack. Um, but so that side note, I had to let that 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 situation go uh, because it wasn't mine to hold on to. Number one, two, and three, and number four, uh, it just wasn't mine to hold on to. So I had to check myself in that situation, and I definitely talk about that uh, uh, on Brianna's really quickly uh, when she was discussing it. Um, but overall. What JC did was an OG. What's up, my bitch? Uh, what JC did was a real OJ OG move. It was literally like, oh, hold my beer. And then he he stretched out that commentary for a week. And that's all you guys could talk about. And that, I mean, and that's just the OG move. So that's just how the fuck you do it. You see what I'm saying? So it ain't nothing to hate on. What's up, Chloe? Uh, so that was that, right? So then. I'm like, okay, good. This is, this is good. You know, this is a good, like, uh, to me, I saw that as the alpha to the beginning of the end of the Omar, Umar boys. That's what, that's just how I see it. Right. This is the alpha. I don't know who or what is going to be the Omega, but we are on our journey now. Okay. This is how I saw it. So let me back up. I come back home to the beef sector. Y'all been smoking crack and dancing and all loud and shit. And I can see y'all through this grass, through this glass house and y'all ain't invited me. You know what I'm saying? They want, they say I'm part of the popular kids and hey, Katya, and y'all haven't invited me. Y'all just fucking dancing and laughing and smoking up all the crack and I can't participate. Right. So then when I get back, I am ready, nigga. I mean to tell you, Lent ends at sunset on that Thursday. Nigga, I clicked motherfucking Brianna link two seconds after sunset. I was watching that bitch like it was a solar eclipse. Do you hear me? Oh, did you motherfuckers know that I went, I was in New York. I went through the motherfucking earthquake and the goddamn solar eclipse in two. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh Lord, my nerves is bad. You hold Brooke now. You bit now, Brooke. Now you know your pretty big ass is on crack. Now just shut it up. Maliko, big ass, big nice ass on crack too. I hope y'all don't be smoking crack around them babies. My God. Anyway, just a bunch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, spicy. Just a bunch of crackheads, child. Oh, and let me talk about. Don't let me forget where I'm at. I'm 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 gonna I'm end on the thing on the on the JC and all that. Y'all, what the fuck is wrong with Tracy? I left 
Tracy was over there cooking and shit. That bought all the new shit for the goddamn house for the kitchen and shit. She cooking and shit. I'm like, well, what since when Tracy cook? DoorDash probably sent Tracy a letter like, bitch, is you okay? Is you okay? And Tracy, are you okay? Baby, I said, DoorDash did knock on that door and scared the shit out of Tracy. She thought it was stomped down. I said, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with Tracy? She over here cooking and shit. Then I started leaving. I started listening some more and this motherfucker got some new dick. Demi, Tracy got some dick, child. Baby, I'm scrolling. Baby, I'm just scrolling. I'm looking. I'm searching for old for Tracy videos that I can catch up on. Ain't nary a motherfucking Tracy video to catch up on. You know why? Because Tracy is working and she's working it. This motherfucker dropped Noble in 2.3 seconds and found some new motherfucking dick, bitches. And then she didn't found the new dick. And she over here antagonizing people with the new dick. Baby, she won't leave Ness alone. Baby, she won't Ness and, and this Heedy. Y'all know this Heedy got the biggest strap on them hoes, mate. Baby, she, baby, y'all hit that like button. Thank you, Klondike. You know these motherfuckers is trifling. Thank you, Klondike. Baby, she didn't, baby, she dropping down all in Ness. Ness is distraught and shit. She trying to get over this heat. Tracy don't give a fuck. Well, I Ness is like, I don't want to talk about Heedy. Just, uh-uh, she won't even tell her name. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. It'd be like half Nessa, half Craig. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't want to talk about, you know, she's stopping your ass, which I understand. You know what I'm saying? When I was in the heat with Langston, I would be like, don't mention that, mention that motherfucker over here. Is your motherfuckers crazy? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, she go half Craig and half Nessa. Oh, don't, don't, uh -uh. Uh -uh. don't even say that name. Here go, Tracy. This, this how I'm literally reading this motherfucker typing. But Tracy, if you don't sit the fuck down and shut the entire fuck up, you know that girl going through something and she won't even stop. It's that new dick. She don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Baby, she know how to troll now. This motherfucker, when you get a wet to invoke her, she out again. It was just the best thing ever. I said, Tracy, if you don't shut the fuck up and get out of my face. Tracy, Tracy. Baby, that new dick, I swear to God. We're going to talk about some new dick. Because fuck what y'all talking about. New dick have a she. And new dick has an impact on a bitch. Okay? New dick? Shit, y'all can, baby, you can, your feelings can get hurt if you want to. Tracy, tell them about that new dick. This motherfucker know how to troll. Y'all know Tracy. I don't even know how to troll. I don't even know what trolling is. Really? You got that new dick and you... Shut up, Tracy. Motherfucker got that new dick. Anyway, I'm sorry. I had I had forgot I had to talk about Tracy. I couldn't believe the shit I was seeing here. And baby, come live. Tracy don't even know how to motherfucking come live no more, y'all. Tracy is over you hoes. Okay. I think the let me tell you about some conspiracy shit. Cause I'm sick of these motherfuckers keep talking about me being in the background, but ain't got a goddamn receipt. Show the motherfucking receipts, ho. Since y'all know so motherfucking much, show the motherfucking receipts. Fuck the dumb shit. Stop talking about it and show the goddamn receipts. Or shut the fuck up. Hey, kind to me, baby. Hey, Sheila M. Mother, those stupid motherfuckers just keep saying the same goddamn shit over and over. I guess they think y'all gonna believe it. Shut every time that motherfucker say that shit. So, shut the goddamn receipts, bitch. Or shut the fuck up. So sick of this shit, bitch. Four motherfucking years. Ain't never had no goddamn background uh, motherfucking issues. Now I'm, I'm, I'm queen of the motherfucking background. In fact, I'm not a motherfucking queen. I'm an oracle, bitch. So at least get my title right. God damn, simple ass hoes. Always the ugly bitches. They be so motherfucking bothered. Anyway, but uh, what was I talking about? Because I had got off. I know I was talking about, well, what? yeah, Tracy and her dick. Anyway, I'm so sick of her. Oh, yeah, the motherfucker won't even come live no more. So this is what I'm trying to say, tell y'all. When you get a job and get some dick in your life, fuck coming live. Fuck coming live. Oh, that's what I was about to say. Now, y'all be talking about, I'll be in the background. Bitches, it was the OGs in the background that all the motherfuckers said, it's go time, bitch. I didn't came back. Sean Bradley said, fuck you hoes. Uh, Jay Wilson said he doing news and shit. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what Jay Wilson's doing. Um, who else? Fire was gone. Tracy ain't doing commentary. 
I don't know what the fuck Kwani was over there doing because you know I, I I that fuck that motherfucker, okay? Motherfucker had the nerve. She didn't lost her motherfucking mind. Had the nerve time she gonna dox me. Kwani, if you don't sit your goddamn dry, bald headed ass down some motherfucking where I ain't did shit to you, bitch. Ooh, can't stand a silly bitch. But anyway, where is the motherfucking OGs? Is the motherfucking OGs in the background and said, fuck this shit. Let these hoes have this shit. Let these hoes see what the fuck is going to happen. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm right in the middle of the OGs, probably age-wise and these new assholes, okay? I'm right slap dag in the motherfucking middle because I understand what the motherfucking OGs was saying, okay? But I understand the new kids, not the new kids, the young kids. You know, Ness, be, Ness love the lie and say she's 29. Ness know that motherfucker. Ness about 39 years old, y'all. Brianna act like she's 39. Pizarro probably, Pizarro probably the one that's 22, to tell you the motherfucking truth. Where is that bitch at anyway? But anyway, but I'm right in the middle of them. I understand them wanting some new energy and new life and new shit. I get it. I ain't hating on that shit. Get money, bitches. That's what I'm proud of you hoes for getting the money. Now, if you wasn't getting the money, we probably would be following the entire fuck out, okay? But ain't nothing for us to follow out about. I say I'm team get money, bitch. Um, but I understand what the OGs are saying too. And I actually believe that the OGs are going to be proven right. Okay. Let me just put that out there. But anyway, now that I'm off Tracy and her new dick. So, okay. So then JC proves these motherfuckers and tells them exactly how the fuck to do it and what the fuck is going on. Okay. And then what else do I see? I can't remember. Somebody can remind me. Oh, I got to go pee pee. But it ain't really time for my, how long I've been live? Sorry, I forgot. See, we got new people. I can't even talk to y'all how I normally talk to y'all. Because, you know, if it's just family, you would say you have to go pee pee. But if it's new people, you would say, um, you know, I'm going to the ladies room. But I, I don't have time for this dumb shit, though. I've been live for an hour. Uh, let's take a break. I got to go. So y'all go refresh your drinks real quick. And then we'll be right back. Remind me where I left off. I'm going to go. Next phase is I, I, I click Brianna's link. That's next phase. Woo. All right. We'll be right back. I want you to stand up tall and proud. I want you to speak up clear and loud. see who I need to cuss out. Body work. Stop the shenanigans. I don't have a fucking bidet. I live in the States. And uh, Duchess, listen, unless it's international, Sassy ain't using no laboratory on no motherfucking plane. I can guarantee you that, girl. Baby, that little small space gives me that. Baby, I'll be like, uh-uh. Thank you, Lady Nika. Um, All right, y'all. Let's get back to it. Okay, so y'all are smoking crack and shit. Y'all are, are are have y'all dancing, butt naked and shit. A lot of shit was going on. Uh, let me see what you got to chill. Got to say, 
I know a dude that lied about his age. A nigga was 29 for like four or five years. Nigga look older than cha. You listen, I lie about my age in real life. I even lie about my age to my parents. And it's like a running joke. So, you know, little, little, you know, little uh dig there um for uh Ness, but I it don't I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh okay, Victoria Lachey, baby. And then I wait till I get to my hotel room to use it again. Yeah, I'll be yeah, it's not a good, it's not a good look, but uh, I just unless it's international, baby. And even that is gonna be business class. And so stop this fucking shit that I have enough money to pay for first class. I don't have enough money to pay for first class. That'll either be an upgrade because of points or um or it's inter in I'm not even paying for first class for international. I'm gonna pay for business class. So just y'all, y'all, you know, it that's just people who don't fucking um uh, fly, but and my job is not gonna pay for me for first class. So stop the fucking shenanigans. Um um, we all in here laughing while Sassy Show is telling our asses off and calling us crackhead. This shit is abuse. <laughs> hey, Mahogany, how you doing? Oh, it's okay, girl. I just, you you know, you can red ball later. I know these notifications have been crazy. I, okay, Duchess, like uh, the first class exactly has different Wi-Fi, girl. That was so funny. Okay, so then I... I it lit ends on, you know, at dusk uh, on Thursday two seconds i'm literally watching the clock Boop, two seconds after i'm click clicking fuck i know jim die right uh i'm literally click clicking breeze link like nigga oh my god give me some of that crack give me some of that crack and then y'all see how much of a panel whore i've been i mean on flights coming on flights that was the fuck with uppity but y'all know i ain't never did that shit before and i fly you know 20 times a year for work and I'm just on everybody's panel. And hey, Ray of Sunshine, I cannot get enough crack. Like that long without crack is fucked up. Like you cannot be without crack for that fucking long. Like you want to talk about fucking um goddamn me. What's that shit they be going through when we see it on intervention? Shivers and, and shaking and shit and the mouth is foaming. I ain't eight in three weeks. All I want is fucking crack. Bitch. So anyway, I get back. Brianna is a crack house. Brianna is literally a crack house. Okay. She just, baby, they throwing, hey, Nurse Shay, nigga, they throwing fucking crack in Brianna in Pettyville chat. Bitch, crack rocks every fucking where. I'm like, oh my God, how awesome. These motherfuckers is giving you the pipe, uh, the bong. I don't know where how you smoke crack. These motherfuckers is in the kitchen. They cooking more crack. It's just, I mean, it's the bit, it's the finest crap. Okay. I mean, the shit is overflowing. And listen, the the new niggas is paying for the crack. We all the crack is free for us. It's just free crack, just every fucking weird. I can't believe my mind. It's like one time I walked in the Bree chat, child. It was like a whole, like three garbage bags, lawn garbage bags full of crack. I said, look at this shit. Oh, it was so awesome. So anyway, I click Brie link. And she starts asking me questions. Free crack everywhere, Brooke. Go tell Malik, girl. Not over here, though. Not over here. You hoes got to pay for the crack over here. Did y'all hit my cash up yet? Up yet? Damn, y'all don't be liking to pay me. Damn, you hoes take advantage of me. Anyway, the sassy show won. If you want to try to give a bitch a little something. Damn, can I buy? Can y'all buy me dinner today? I think I want uh, steak. I think I'm feeling red meat, like a ribeye and some broccolini. And I want some fingerling, fingerling potatoes. So I know exactly where to get it. But anyway, child, and I got my vodka in the freezer. So don't worry about that. Where is Just Read My Book? The vodka today is Belvedere, pear, and something. I don't know. I have to look it up. Anyway. Yes, Donna Hughes. I'm still doing. Don't, don't come in here trying to uh, belittle me, Donna Hughes. Yes, I still, I'm still on crack. She's trying to belittle me. What's up, Jessica B? I know you are, Jessica, because you a fucking hater, Jessica, but you so cute. I'd be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Jessica's a fucking hater. But anyway, so Brianna rolls out the red carpet. She's excited to talk to me. I'm fucking ecstatic to talk to her. And we just chopping it up like good girlfriends. Like we, you know what I'm saying? It's so, I was so fucking excited. And she's asking me, um, you know, what I drink. I mean, what I drink. I'm listening at Betty. 
what I think about this and what I think about that. And I'm just, I'm so, I'm so fucking excited to answer, right? Yeah, a crack cooking challenge. Pizarro, that we know, Pizarro, you should host the fucking crack cooking challenge. Ooh. No, 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 no. I have teeth. I'm a functioning crackhead. I go to work. I have teeth. I'm not, I'm not roaming the streets and giving up my, 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 my good ussy for crack. No, 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 no. I'm a functioning crack addict. Oh, you're doing the gray goose with cranberry. Ooh, Lynn, that's cute. I got pineapple mango and a, uh, pineapple water loop. So, but anyway, so mostly the water loop, but a splash of the juice. Anyway, let's get on with it. So I'm in, I'm okay. So Brianna just rolling out the red carpet. Like I'm just VIP crackhead in this bitch and I'm just fucking ecstatic, you know? So we're just talking. And for me, I'm just giving my fucking opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like Tierra, I ain't even trying to be funny. I swear to God. What was that? Cool la la. That's cute. Can you stay on topic, please? Hell no. Cool la la. I'm on crack. You bitches are so fucking judgmental. Do you? I, the fucking crackhead is supposed to stay on topic. You, you riddle me that. Anyway, we know the feds is watching, but that's all you motherfuckers fault. It ain't my goddamn fault. You hoes and let the feds in. Full fledged. Here you go, feds. So, hey, fed, federalist. Anyway, bitch, I'm trying these y'all. Y'all stop bothering me. I can stay on track. So anyway, so in my opinion. Thinking that I'm just being sassy, which I am, right? Because all of y'all who know me know me, right? I ain't giving no extra strife to these motherfuckers. What's up, soldier? I ain't giving out no motherfucking uh uh what you call it, uh real hatred or nothing, but y'all know that's not me. You know, these new motherfuckers might not, but I ain't cursing them out. There's no anger in my voice. I'm just chopping it up with my homie about what the fuck I've missed, what I've seen, what she thinks, what I think. To me, it's not a big deal. Well, apparently, honey, apparently, these motherfuckers had an issue with it, y'all. Ghetto is the head dusty. But me and me and Ghetto, we, you know, hey, shit, it is what the fuck it is. He don't, he don't fuck with me. He don't be bothering me. And he's, you know, he's comical. I like a comical motherfucker. So, you know, whatever you can be, you know, two things can be true at the same motherfucking time. Ghetto. Okay. But anyway, child, Ooh, strawberry margarita. I'm not a sweet girl, but you know, it's so many of them in here are child. So anyway, so to me, I'm just chopping it up. It ain't no different, right? There's no overreactions. There's no, it's just normal. Well, they did not. I don't think they thought that the very thought of me someone who they didn't know, giving an opinion about them, it's my opinion that it ruffled their feathers. Oh, here go Langston. Hello, Langston. We always need a toothless CPA on the team. Hey, that nigga on crack. I bet you he can chop them numbers down though. I bet you when that nigga smoke that crack rock, I bet you that nigga be like... Shit. In between watching YouTube, no doubt. But shit, I bet you he be crunching. You know, woo, you know them motherfuckers don't crack, baby. They don't play. They be staying up all night and shit. Shit. But anyway, so they I, they have an issue with it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, this is weird. You know what I mean? So, cause you know, we not that sensitive over here. Although I'm being mentioned as sensitive, we're just not that sensitive. It's called an opinion. And then you just, you know, you, you come back the <laughs> treasure. I ain't even did nothing yet. Don't start that. I ain't even did nothing yet. So it's called, um, you know, opinion. And so if you're, you know, you're on a certain level, you'll just match the opinion. Only the really, really insecure people over here and the ones that want to whine and cry cry about a, a measured opinion, right? And we know who they are. We expect them to cry about your opinion. We expect for them, you know, to be asking for protection. We expect for them to always have an issue if someone agrees. You know, we understand, but we put them, it's a very small minority. The majority of us are like, okay, bitch, I don't agree with you. Okay, bitch, I don't agree with you. Okay, bitch, what are we having for dinner? You see what I'm saying? So it was a little, it was a very different energy, right? So, okay, that's that. 
Then I already knew who was next on my hit list was going to be Nessa. Another one of my boos. I got to go talk to Nessa. I missed the fuck out of her. You know what I'm saying? What's up, girl? You know, that kind of shit, you know? So I clicked the link. I be goddamn. I be goddamn. As soon as I click the link, here comes Shakim. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Now, GX, ZX, now you come over here and you, you act right now. You act right now. I hate that I have to say that to you. I know you're a grown man, but you know how you be doing, child. Hey, Harley. Good to see you, honey. But so, ZX is the one that could have told them how to deal with me or get motherfucking ignored. That's what y'all should have did. MBK, why you didn't ask ZX how to deal with me, honey? He would have told your ass. Okay. Why y'all didn't call up Ken? That's the number. Did that's who the fuck you should have called? You should have called Ken and say, "How we deal with this motherfucker right here?" He would have told you what not to do and what to do. Wanna? Why are you just now getting in here, motherfucker? Why is you just now getting in here, Wanna? You ain't doing shit else but fucking with that goddamn liquor machine and on YouTube. Don't play with me, Wanna. Sick of her. Anyway, so. You got to chill. Don't let me scroll up and see. You ain't even at, told me to drink no water. No, let me drink some water. So I click next link. Here comes Shaquem. No, I don't even know you guys. Can I get a minute with my homegirl? Y'all, it's the equivalent of you're the homegirl who always thinks she can bring her boyfriend to a girl's thing. So I was literally like, no, no. And I couldn't even help it, you guys. Y'all know how I try to be measured sometimes. And then sometimes I'm just like real ratchet with it. But I couldn't even fucking measure it. I was just had to flat out say, because I didn't know what else. Like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to both of y'all. I don't even know this man. I'm trying to push this nigga on me. Can I just talk to you? Can I talk to you? I really want to see you, girl. I really want to know your name. Uh, 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 uh. Come and talk to me. Okay. I didn't want to talk to my girl. So then Ness, and this is how you could tell me and Ness are like on the same wavelength. She doesn't even really have to say it, but I'm reading in between the lines. Bitch, you about to hurt my motherfucking feelings. Let me wrap it up with this nigga and it's to be me and you. This is what she's saying, but she didn't have to say all that. So y'all know how I like to acquiesce to these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? As much as y'all think I get my way, I acquiesce to these motherfuckers. So I'm like, okay, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. I'm going to chill out. Well, she does it. Me and her are able to talk. Done hits the link. I can't remember, but it's all the good duties. We hitting the link. We chopping it up. She's asking my opinion. I'm giving it to her. Again, nothing vile, nothing vulgar. There's no, it's not mean spirited. There's no angst in my tone. You know, I'm not using crazy verbiage. I'm just giving my opinion based off of what I saw, right? Simple enough. Those people in the beef sector that know Sassy say that doesn't sound like anything different from what Sassy does. Then the next thing that happens, hi, Steven, how are you? Then the next thing, hey, Candy Cane, I didn't even see you. Hey, girl. The next thing I see or hear is MBK, MBK's assumption and assertion on me. Flat out did not like it. I don't know you. You don't know me. You're putting, you're adding 20 on 10 and it would have been better for you because I'm good, but it would have been better for you to just ask me the question, right? It would have been better for you had you seen me somewhere and said, hey, can I ask you something? Then we would have been off to a good start. Hey, Tia, baby. But the assertions and the assumptions with the angst, I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do that. Right. Because now I feel like now I'm lumping you in with the others because who are you, sir? Why are you making assumptions and assertions? And why you said you've been over here. So if you have been over here, then you would understand. Sassy. So those something ain't, ain't going on to it, it. Something ain't clicking for me. You see what I'm saying? But I personally know. 
it's very difficult to learn the beef sector. Oh, I got to go, go to my Amazon locker. It's very difficult to learn the beef sector. There's so many players and there's so much history that you can know a person's name and not understand who, what they mean and what their stance is standing is in the community, which is a little, it, it's, it's, it's not a good look, right? Because you're going to fumble the ball. It's like, it's like game day and you're trying to just go out on the field and play, but you don't even know the plays. You haven't read the playbook. You haven't studied. You haven't, you haven't, your team members, uh, y'all haven't gotten together. There's no, there's, it's all over the place. You're, you're asking to lose the game. What's up, Fruits of Labor? If I didn't speak, you're literally asking to lose the game because this is the motherfucking NFL. This not, this not the fucking D League. And that's the issue. So let's get to the issue. The issue is that you did not just MBK because I put all of y'all in the same category. So fuck the dumb shit about y'all didn't come over here together. Yes, the fuck you did. We're not going to play like that. What's up, beef sector? Y'all came over here two motherfucking together. Okay. That's your prerogative, but it's weird as fuck. A whole bunch of grown men, men sitting together trying to figure out how they're going to do a hostile takeover of the beef sector. But you did not do the proper research. That would have taken too long because you want this to be a hostile takeover. I get it. I'm not even, I, I ain't necessarily hating. I'm just calling it out. Here this motherfucker go. Oh, I thought she said something else. I think Sassy and Cole will bump heads. It's already happened, darling. It's already happened. Uh, no fault of my own. He was looking for it. Brute force is the brute force is the name of the game. Hashtag brute force is the name of these Negroes game. Okay. Now to a soft feminine woman, brute force is like so fucking aggressive to a soft feminine woman. Okay. Hey, who is that saying? They finally girl, please. Hey girl, please. Thanks for catching the line. It's a brute force is very offensive to a to a softer woman. Hey, Kamiko, my Blasian. So it's OK. As I'm starting to speak about these men and how I perceive them, it's OK for us beef sector family. It's OK for us to disagree. I just feel like we might be looking at it through two different lenses. Right. So I'm not asking for you guys to change your thought processes or anything. I'm really not this. I'm literally just giving my commentary on it and the way that I saw it. And so let's start there. Brute force, not going to work. Ask Ken, ask Ken Nola. Brute force is a no-no with me. You will just be ignored, right? Ask SK. Brute force is way too assertive for me. I feel like you treat me like a nigga. And I'm a feminine, soft woman. I feel like you're not even respecting my softness. I feel like you're trying to get me out of my body. Look at this motherfucker. What the fuck? Who let your motherfucking bitch ass in here? Robin, did you invite truth in here? Ooh. Robin, get on my motherfucking nerves. She always inviting motherfuckers to the goddamn party. I told it. Hey, Coco Boo. Hey, um, hey, Zion. Y'all, Robin, love fucking truth. She probably went over there to her goddamn chat and say, you coming to sassy? You, it's okay. I'm going to unblock you. Ugh. Anyway. So. Ugh. This motherfucker truth get on my goddamn nerves. Y'all know I can't stand. Do you know anybody who blocked you three times in goddamn five months? And you have to keep doing other pages and shit. Hey, girl, by the misky, good to see you. Hey, Vero, you know that motherfucker, that motherfucker ran me hot. Ah, shut up, truth. Alligator Tommy, my ass. Woo. Robin, drop down. I know you invited truth. She gonna lie. She watch Robin gonna lie. Anyway. So, okay. So brute force, right? I'm like, ooh. Okay, so I'm telling y'all, ask SK. Y'all remember when SK was going around fucking stalking me and shit and clicking links and trying to force me to talk to him? Nigga, I said no. I said no, nigga. That motherfucker, y'all, do y'all know I had thought uh, SK had left that shit alone? Do y'all know this motherfucker was uh 
uh in the in in the chat <laughs> you wearing a helmet you don't notice what kind of helmet oh i, I want to hear about that later what kind of helmet am i okay a helmet or a scarlet letter is that the same thing so i know oh yes but i fucking love truth and i knew that was part of her crazy i know i'm i'm different you know but i mean we different you know i'd be like fuck it you know but anyway so uh what I was saying, oh, SK. So I'm thinking SK, it then stopped fucking with me. Do y'all know he was over there in somebody chat? I didn't even think it was him. This motherfucker was saying all kind of crazy shit. Then I'm talking about telling Langston, he Langston mad because I chose him first. SK, if you don't get out of that motherfucking delusional ass space, you weirdo, I ain't choose a goddamn thing about you first. And you stop that goddamn line. Then he talking about I said that I was the leader of Avatar Nation. No, silly. Three years later, four years later, you still getting it wrong. I said I speak for the people, nigga. And more than your people. Avatar Nation wasn't the only motherfucking chat I go to. I said I dropped down to speak for the people. Not you. If you got your helmet on, you don't realize how many times you've been blocked. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. That's true. So just crazy shit, Junetta. So this is just a learning lesson for these guys who don't know the history. This is like my third or fourth rodeo with a man trying to force me to give them attention. I don't get off on it or anything. I get real male attention in my real motherfucking life. You see what I'm saying? And I get male attention on YouTube and they don't even know what the fuck I look like. So it's not new to me. It's just if you are respectful and you can kind of quickly pick up on the context clues that, oh, she doesn't really want to spar with me. You know, she just wants to have a conversation or, oh, she doesn't want to be getting loud and cussing and yelling or, oh, she like just recognize who I am and respect it. Then we good. We're, we're very, very good. Hoodie hasn't said anything out the way to me. I go to his chat occasionally. I drop down. I speak. See, I mean, I don't really care about his background or, you know what I'm saying? What his YouTube background and all that. It's not really any of my business. It's how he approached me. You know what I'm saying? Very, very simple shit that they're trying to make complicated. I already told them dudes about Sassy is that today, if they want, it's just to, if they want to listen, I, they're very, very, very hard headed. I don't know if they want to listen. I'm not here to teach them a damn thing. I'm not teaching a grown man to me is coddling. I am a, a traditionalist. I want to be around men who are teaching me. Okay. I don't want to be in a position to be teaching men to do anything. So I'm not trying to alter them. I'm just trying. I'm, we're talking about this because they made it a big deal. They wanted Sassy to come live. So Sassy is live. Okay. I like to give motherfuckers what they want sometimes. So I want to be very clear. It, it's, it's, it's more than likely up and stuck. Okay. So I'm not trying to tell you how to move. I'm telling you where you moved mistakenly where the mistakes were. Okay. All right. Straight facts, baby. So, um, where did I leave off? So I'm, I, I say what I have to say about the, the Umar boys. They are, they get into a, a whole thing about it. MBK follows suit. You know, he's having, he, you know, I don't want to outdo his, his involvement again. I, it was energy tonality. I don't like it. Don't talk to me like that, or I'm just going to cut it off. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't even know you. So what the fuck do we have to, to discuss, right? You didn't want to get to know me. I don't want to get to know you. I'm just a bitch that matches energy. That's how I saw it. You wanted to come out of your mouth and say some things in an aggressive manner, assertive manner, and accuse me of certain things that you really don't know the background on. You don't want to get to me. I don't want, I, you don't want to get to know me. I don't want to get to know you. Thank you, sir. No big deal. What I'm not going to do is be clicking links and overly obsessing about you. I'm not going to be in chats talking negatively about you. I'm just a real lady about my shit. You know what I'm saying? I really am. And ain't none of y'all going to be able to take that from me because this is just fucking sassy. You know what I mean? So that happens. Then uh, I don't know about it. Bree tells me about it on KRN. I really am upset about it. Like now we got a motherfucking problem then that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm pissed now. Now we got a motherfucking problem. But after that, I don't think I said anything else about it. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, it's up and it's stuck. Okay, cool. Um, 
Then comes, I don't, I'm not, in my mind and anybody here that I know their name can correct me, but I know I'm not picking at them in the chats. And I absolutely know that I'm not clicking links to discuss them because one of my pet peeves is bitches that whine about what's happening to them, but they are inciting the what's happening, excuse me, to them. So I don't do that kind of shit. Now, what I'm not clear about is if I click someone's link and someone asked me something, so that caused me to talk about them. You know what I mean? But it's still, I know it wasn't like nasty or ugly. So I'm saying that to say that after I say, you know what I'm saying? After I say what I got to say, Miss Darlings, let me tell you something. You can get blocked again, okay? You need to sit down, you need to talk about the commentary, and you need to leave me the fuck alone. This is another bitch that I literally ignore. I do not block her. I just ignore her. But she's a fan. She's a fucking super fan. And instead of just being cool and we can chit chat, no, this bitch wants to pick at me in order to get my attention. It tells me a lot about you and I don't know who you are. I don't know what you look like, but it just tells me. So I can pick on her because she, Lord knows, she's been picking on me for eight months and I never have never spoken back to her in a chat. Not one fucking time. You know what I'm saying? So that, it was it was poignant that she dropped down at that exact moment that this is this is the type of behavior that I'm talking about, right? So somebody says something. Um, hey, China. Somebody said something. I can't find it. So, <clears throat> um, so I'm not, but I'm not clicking links to specifically talk about them or anything like that. If it comes up, it comes up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not running for any commentary. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. And, um, next thing I know, I hear of Shaquem talking up under my clothes, saying I need some dick. And um, then I hear him on net saying that my pussy is dry and just weird, weird shit. Now, again, I have not evoked those type of emotions in him. So let me give you an example, because I feel like I'm like having to like, like basic fucking standards and understanding has like gone out the window. So if I'm not evoking these type of this type of energy out of you, why do you think that it's okay to approach me that way? And what do you think I'm going to do with that type of approach? What do you think? It, or is it that you're trying to get me out of my body over schoolyard shit? Wait, he was, was in the bed on live talking shit. I don't know what that says. So Y'all talking about something else. So I'm like, what is it that you want from me? All I'm going to do is ignore you and block you. Like that's really, really, really low brow. And again, you're fucking with my sensibilities. Like low brow and sassy should not be together in the same motherfucking sentence. So you have already offended me by talking reckless about me. Now you're going to go even further to talk up under my clothes unwarranted. Okay, that's weird. So I just block him and I'm just like, for okay, whatever. That's, I'm not dealing with it. Okay. Um, so now I'm seeing this pattern of behavior that I want to talk about really quickly that these men that are coming over with the brute force again. So now we're going back to my initial assumption about them, right? Had not spoken to them. We're looking, we're just looking at them outside of the, the, the crack field house, um, you know, peeking in, making an educated assumption about these gentlemen, these men. Now you have confirmed my assumption, right? So now there's nowhere for you to go. You have confirmed my assumption that you're coming over here with brute force. You have very little respect for women. And you're not going to get to know us. You're okay with making assumptions. I mean, I could go on and on and on. You understand what I'm saying? I could go on and on and on. So now I'm, you just you just clarify for me and you made me right, right? So I'm good. Everybody knows now I'm good. Once you make me right, ain't there? I don't, I'm good. You already, you made me right. Nothing more for me to say. 
I don't need to, I don't need to say anything else. It is what it is. Okay. So let's talk about them as a, a collective. Code says, which one of the spicy, what does that mean? Why are you stopping my show with that? Um, Code says that they are not a collective. However, the name of his group is Code Fam. Fam being short for family. Now, I know Code is new to the Black culture. Um, I, I understand that he's just learning about the ur Urban Dictionary. But what we are over here in the beef sector is a dif dysfunctional family, okay? We are indeed a tribe, okay? Different levels, different level of relationships, just like your family. I mean, you're not cool with every single one of your cousins, but you know all of them, right? Hey, eclectic soul, nothing, no, not really even different. Your family, there might be judges in your family. There might be janitors. There might be motherfucking uh, 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 people on SSI. There might be motherfuckers that work for the human health and resources. Uh, almost the exact same blueprint. It's just a virtual family. Some of you motherfuckers spend more time with these motherfuckers on YouTube than you actually do with your real family. Hey, Corio, honey, smooches. But we never deny, even y'all don't, hey, Melissa Scott, but y'all y'all can't stand some of these motherfuckers, but you never really deny the foundation of what we are, right? I mean, it's just is what it is. Like it's, it's this whole dysfunctional family and we all co-mingle and we're all on different levels of friendliness and associativeness, right? Okay, cool. But to deny the fact that they did come over here together is just weird, right? And I don't know if it's semantically weird, like if he's trying to semantical us to death or if he really believes that, no, he came over here first and they followed him. Okay. So now you're getting into some weird shit. Now you're trying to make me believe that I'm not seeing what the fuck I'm seeing. That now, now we're getting into some manipulative territory. This is my, this is, this, this, now we're getting into my wheelhouse and my forte, shall we say. So now not only do you want to come over with brute force, you're going to add manipulation in with the brute force. Are we checking the list as we go? Are we checking the list as we go or do I need to slow down? Uh, yeah, you know, StreamYard is on a delay. I'm trying to see because if somebody, you know, tell me I need to slow down or y'all ain't understanding, honey, I'm going to take it seriously. Give me one second. Let me sneeze. I hope they did not ship this water. Lord, I think I, I tried to order one, one like 38 bottles of Hint water. And now I think they're trying to ship some more. Let me let me stop paying on this shit. I hate when they get you with that motherfucking little fine print. And I wear bifocal glasses, so they get me a lot. I just have to stop that shit. On my video, he was plotting with the fam to come over here. Thank you. If y'all not uh, subscribed to Unlock, you should. Uh, mods, if you can get it quickly, I appreciate it. Drop uh, Unlock's uh, link for me, pretty please. I super appreciate it. You slow? We know you slow, Ken. Shit. But you get it, nigga. You already called it out. So now you're adding manipulation. It's not good enough to, for you to just come over here with brute force you just want now you trying to tell us that we don't see what the fuck we see. Now you're trying to tell me that I did not hear what the fuck I heard cuz I know exactly which video unlocked is talking about. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Okay. So, okay. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, but now I know manipulation is a nice way of saying because the manipulation can be in your favor as well, right? In the other person's favor, right? Coercing, manipulation, sometimes they can be interchangeable. But in this in this example, it's negative, right? So um, brute force, manipulation, 
which is the type of manip manipulation. It's okay, baby. I know it's okay. Oh, um, go to there. I can do it too. I forgot. I can do it because I can just go to their comment. Um, then you're lying. Back up to when I don't know, Duchess, if it was or not. I don't know. But back up to when I click. Oh no, this is another in encounter with with uh code is on Brianna's panel, and he tells me. That he, this man I just met, is he is the reason why I can see clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Thank you, Code. Oh my gosh. I do wear bifocal contacts. And sometimes they get a little blurry because of my stigmatism. And I thought, but I definitely thought that I was reading fine. I thought that my comprehension was A, A plus tier. I thought that uh, I'm a person that people want to hear from and, and are excited about her point of view. But only three weeks ago was Code able to come to the beef sector and show sassy something. So now I have brute force, manipulation, lying, and a motherfucking God complex. This motherfucker is God. This motherfucker that showed sexy something. I know. Oh, yes. As soon as I, girl, I'll be forgetting too. As soon as I said, I said, oh, yeah, mm, girl, you know, it's okay. Now this motherfucker is God. This motherfucker is, is allowing me to see the light. I said, Lord, Jesus, we working with, baby. I said, Lord, I know Duchess, but it is what it is. I've been blind since like 12. I was one of those kids. So it is what it is, child. I just take it on like with a chin. Hey, Tiffany Black. Black. Hey, Blackberry Molasses. Um, that's interesting, Cooling. I don't know about that. I, I think I have a difference of opinion, but I respect what you're saying. So I, I'm going to leave that right there until so, I get there. So now I'm like, damn, like now this, these guys are really crazy. I got Shaquem thinking that he can talk up under my, my, my clothes. I got MBK assuming a, a, a things about me with, you know, with assertiveness. I got Cole telling me that he's the reason for me being able to see something clearly when I, if he had known me, he would have probably guessed that I already knew the answer. Then all of their other friends come. D. Durrell, poor thing. Uh, Nikki, cha. Then D. Durrell, poor thing. I'm clicking Miss Olivia's link. I'm thinking that I, I don't... At the time that I hear, when I click Miss Olivia's link, I knew that our interaction was not cantankerous. But then when I hear him at Ness's say that it not only was it cantankerous, it was disrespectful. <sighs> I said, Lord Jesus. I said, okay. Well, this is interesting. Yes, the Godfather, vibrant. I said, well, this is interesting. This is the Godfather. So now I'm starting to understand. Are we keeping up? Cassie, can you keep me on point? We got brute force. We got manipulation. We got lying. We got godfather complexes. And now we got emotional men. Oh, Jesus. We got a lot going on. We got a lot going on. So I say to him, because I'm not upset with this man, you know, I don't know this man, but I'm not upset with him. He hasn't said anything horrible to me. He's just mistaken. And I don't know if it's a mistake or if it's deliberate. So now I'm trying to figure it out because that's how high my emotional intelligence is. I'm not trying to attack this man. In fact, I don't. I don't say anything aggressive to him. I don't make assertions. I'm trying to figure it out because my emotional intelligence only wants me to do things in order. Order! Shout out to Ms. Dovey. So I'm not asking for anything more than I'm willing to give. So the Godfather clicks Ness's link and he's adamant about that. I was concerned with Brianna and Ness's money. 
and that I was extremely disrespectful to, to him. Okay. Roll the, the bean footage, Ness. Ness couldn't wait. I think Ness thought she was going to catch me in some shit. <laughs> I'll mute. Not today. What's up, Chipper? Not today. You're not about to catch a sass sassy. is the same sassy, honey. So they roll the footage. Absolutely nothing cantankerous about me and the Darrell's uh, conversation or interaction. Baby, Molly, she played that whole motherfucking thing. Like, I'm, I am swear to God, I'm going to find something. Baby, I said, baby, I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Oh, bitch, watch. Watch the whole motherfucking thing before, after, during. Watch it, nigga. So then... Nothing is there. When I say nothing, it's a whole fat nothing burger, right? I go click, click the link again. Let me get this motherfucker chance to apologize face to face. Abby to Abby, nigga. Because that's the kind of bitch I am. Before I block your motherfucking ass, okay? This motherfucker say, well, I, I could have made some insertions there. I could have exaggerated a bit. But no, you don't get an apology. Dita Rev, if you don't shut your motherfucking ass up, nigga, and give me this goddamn apology and take this motherfucking L like the grown motherfucking man you are, I know something. This nigga. I let him off the, I let him off the hook because y'all know I'm not about to fight with these motherfuckers. What's up, the most high? I ain't about to fight with these motherfuckers about what I already know. Another thing you would know about me, I'm not about to fight with motherfuckers about shit I already know. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Looking head ass. We're lemon motherfucking ass that somebody gonna wake this drunk motherfucker up. This is all his motherfucking fault. I'm so goddamn sick of lemon, I don't know what to do. That's why SK wouldn't let that motherfucker out of Avatar Nation all these years. We was blaming SK. Well, really, it's lemon's whole mother. Lemon can't be by himself. Lemon need a whole motherfucking handler. Lemon and let all these motherfuckers over here and talk about what did I do? I swear to God, who I wasn't here. Oh, I went to go walk my dog. And that ain't no motherfucking dog. It's a goddamn mountain lion. Did y'all hear that motherfucker last night? I said, what the fuck kind of dog is this? That dog over there beating lemon motherfucking ass. Y'all thought uh motherfucking uh uh juice was uh what's his name? I don't call it man. Uh Pastor motherfucking uh dog was lyric. Shit, that was a motherfucking werewolf and a goddamn bear had a baby. I said, what the fuck kind of dog is this? So what be happening is if that motherfucking dog say he got to go to goddamn bathroom, Lemon has to fuck the YouTube bitch. This mother, that motherfucker was going to eat his ass up. I said, what the fuck? Y'all, I swear to God, had I been thinking I would have did a TRX on you hoes and had that motherfucking clip. Y'all, that goddamn vicious ass, and I'm a dog lover. I ain't, I ain't afraid of damn dog. Bitch, that goddamn mountain lion won't come to fuck. That goddamn high half hyena bitch won't come close to me. I said, damn. Oh. Anyway, let me see what Shaquem's saying. Because, child, that nigga know he had to pay to. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, what this motherfucker say? Take that, take that, take that. Apologies on behalf of the Umar boys. Peace and pan. And oh, nigga. Ah, oh, whatever. Thank you. Child, that niggas, they just lie. Pan African my ass. Anyway, so who gave you that? Who gave you that? Kip gave you that $20. You should have told him, uh-uh, he should have cash out me. So can you send me another 20 cash out? I need all my money. I'm trying, I already told you I'm trying to get uh state. Damn. I don't know why I didn't turn off these motherfucking super chat. D the rail. I'm gonna get it back on you in two seconds. If you don't send no super chat, D the rail. Do not send no motherfucking super chat. I need all my motherfucking money. D the rail. Now shit. Now I hate to sound ungrateful, but I am. I am an ungrateful, entitled bitch. Fuck that shit. Giving Google half my goddamn money. What the fuck am I supposed to do with $10? Nothing. Anyway. So I ain't gonna be able to do it, Blackberry shit. I just this all off the dome. 
all that motherfucking preparation and shit to come live. Bitch, if you don't click that goddamn live button and do what your mama, shake it how your mama told you, bitch, fuck that shit, bitch. All off the motherfucking dome. Ain't no motherfucking papers rattling today, bitch. Thank you for the 792 beef sector and all the other sectors that I love and adore. And any all of y'all new people, I really do appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for showing up. What's up, Naturally? My very first, first cousin. Miami Popo. I don't think I like you. You a smart talking, slick talking motherfucker that I don't even know. Y'all just get rid of Miami Popo. I don't think I like you. Bye, nigga. Now, this is the type of shit I like because this is my bougie cousin. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Now, this is a motherfucking super chat. Thank you, Shakim. I appreciate it. Thank you. Shakim sent a cash app, y'all. Oh, living, living my best life. Ain't going back and forth with you niggas. Living my best life. Woo! Thank you, baby. I really appreciate it. Damn. Gotta show these mother. See what I'm saying? You gotta show these motherfuckers how to act. You know I'm not about to do all that. No, I'm not about to do all that. I'm not about to. I'm not about to do all that now. Showing you niggas how to act now. Damn. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? What eclectic say? Seemed like it was funny. Hold on, eclectic. What you say? Ah, shit. Oh, that was Ezekiel. Hey, Ezekiel, how you doing? Long time no see. Okay, where was I at? Shit, I feel like I'm drunk today. I can't keep. I can't. It's just so much I gotta talk about. Anyway. Where was I at? Where Cassie you at? Hey, Sassy, you remind me of a stand-up comedian I see on stage with the spotlight. Oh, thanks. That's a really cool compliment. I super appreciate that. Hey, Zara, how you doing, honey? Okay, y'all ain't y'all taking too long. I can't buy an ass motherfuckers. That nigga know he got to pay his light bill up. So now they know who Sassy is in this sector. Y'all should have asked. They could have. They could have just asked and we would have been cool. So I know. Don't say that, Duchess. Let them let, let, let the homies. I don't come live that much. Let the homies uh, keep getting paid. I'm here. Brute force. Come, what else? I forgot where I was, though. Anyway. Mm. Thank you, Miss Paulette. Oh, but I was on Lemon, motherfucking ass. Lemon, when you wake up, I'm going to cuss you the fuck out. That's why I wouldn't let you out of Avatar Nation, nigga. You can't be, you can't be going by yourself no goddamn where. I bet you Lemon had to have an escort to motherfucking Wingstop, to goddamn Subway. What's up, Iris? To motherfucking go walk that vicious ass motherfucking dog. Lemon has to have a handler. Fuck the dumb shit. Now, we know we like Lemon. I know some of y'all don't like Lemon because Lemon be acting a fucking fool. Okay? I get it. But still, he is part of the family. So, what I need for y'all to do is we got to go team. We got to go on a motherfucking clockwork or something. What you call that shit? We got to go in shifts on this motherfucker. And I'm not playing. Hey, big man. I'm not fucking playing. We got to go on shifts in this motherfucker. And really, who got this motherfucker? A.M. Now, A.M. for him is Tracy's A.M. A.M. for him is noon. Because y'all know that motherfucker don't work. Okay? So, noon is for him. Uh, His A.M. So who gonna go midday on this motherfucker? Who gonna go late afternoon? Okay. And who gonna take, we need a strong team at night round robbing this motherfucker, Tiffany. And I'm not fucking playing. I need the names. Well, meet you. I didn't ask you what you can't do. I asked you what you can do. Now retype that. What can you do? Meet you. We need, we need you. Nocturne, a whole motherfucker. It ain't gonna be no intervention because this nigga ain't gonna listen. That's why SK wouldn't let that nigga talk for goddamn three years. But we gonna have to do as soon as that motherfucker pop into the goddamn mommy sector. We just we ain't got to do shit but just drop down and say, Hey, Lemon, that's it. He gonna he know he know what's up. But we need like two or three motherfuckers to drop down. Now, who gonna go? We need somebody to go in the middle of the motherfucking night and catch this nigga as he over there at the passport, bro, to say, ah, 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 nigga. Now, you stay over here with these motherfuckers. You stay over here. Don't bring the motherfuckers over to the beef sector. Now, I need a list. Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of this shit. SK, all these motherfucking years, SK had it right. And we thought SK was bullying Lemon. We thought SK, in American time, on like that, Lanty, in American time, Oh, 
Brit girl, you, you UK time. Brit girl, can you take some late night shifts? It'll be morning for you. Come on now. I don't see nobody volunteering. But that as soon as these mother, this motherfucker, listen, let me tell you what happened. Y'all, I caught Lemon in the serial killer sector. I didn't want to tell y'all. I caught Lemon over there in the serial killer sector, okay? Motherfuckers willy-nilly saying that they serial killers. That's why he had Duke. Duke is the head of the serial killer uh, uh, association, okay? These motherfuckers got teardrops and shit all on their face and shit, bitch. These motherfuckers is not to be fucking played with. Do you hear me? So I'm over there in the, in the fucking serial killer sector, okay? I don't drop down in the motherfucking serial. I'm serious, Miss Gwen. I'm over there in the serial killer sector. <laughs> this motherfucker limit is all up on the panel and shit, asking them questions. So why didn't you use an axe? I mean, no, this motherfucker. Did you use an axe? Is that why they call you an axe murderer? What the fuck are you talking about exactly, Lemon? And why the entire fuck do you? Oh, I'm in this sector called the beef sector. Oh, we're just roasting gaggy. Do you, oh, my name of my. Oh, I, I'm going to drop it in the back chat. I'm going to drop it in the back chat. Yeah, there's a serial killer sector. And Lemon be over there all on their panels and shit. I'm gonna tell this motherfucking business. No, I'm not. Then I caught the motherfucker over there with the uh fucking motherfuckers who used to be gay and now they straight sector. I don't know what the fuck are you doing over here? So Lemon is out of motherfucking control. I'm sorry if I had to go back, but I had to get this because listen, I'm saying this with love, and that's why dragons. Listen, the reason why I don't want to get too bad on it. Dragons, I hope you're doing better, baby. Hey, Peaches and Boo. But uh, dragons, that motherfucker about to get you killed, girl. Okay? Go on over to catch the bus, baby, and get your, get your driver's license and your ID and whatever the fuck you, you know. The Del delivered sector. He over there all in the delivered sector asking too many motherfucking questions and shit. They ha I have been delivered sector. I said, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Oh, anyway, child, we just need to keep an eye on Lemon. Fuck that shit, because we don't know who the fuck that nigga going to bring over here next time. Y'all think the Umar boys is something. What the, who the fuck else is this nigga? Y'all think baby mama Brina, this motherfucker got nine motherfucking kids. I ain't never heard of nothing like that in real motherfucking life. Nine motherfucking kids, seven baby daddies, a raggedy, dusty, musty fucking Mexican that wants to use the nigger 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 niggers everywhere i thought that was bad enough and i'd be goddamn i wasn't even able to swallow that until I, then boom here you go 15 niggas from the umar johnson sector I said, what the fuck is going on? and then that's when i started stalking that motherfucker i started stalking that motherfucker y'all know how i be in the background with all my secret gadgets and shit well i doxed that motherfucker and i found out where the fuck he was I sure did. And he be a whole bunch of mother running rampant, Tracy. He be a whole bunch of motherfuckers at places that he don't have no goddamn business being. And I'm sick of it. I'm calling it out. SK, you better get some goddamn avatars together, nigga. This motherfucker is running them up. And he bringing them right back over here. No, I'm not, Tracy. I'm trying to warn the sector and get some motherfucking sense into Lemon's head. Motherfucker over there, the serial killer sector, uh, de debating goddamn why you used a motherfucking axe and not a gun. Looking head ass. I said, this motherfucker. Anyway, y'all, let me move on. So, Cole thinks that he's shown me the light. He doesn't know who Sassy is. He doesn't even know who I am in the fucking sector, let alone who I am in real life. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is some weird ass shit. I'm, I'm good on you motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to figure y'all out. This shit don't make no damn sense. So I just stopped fucking with them. I mean, there ain't no sweat off my back. Shit, they got a whole bunch of places to go. What the fuck they care about Sassy for? That's what I'm thinking. God. Sassy has been arrested for stalking. She's hard. <laughs> if, okay, Tracy. <laughs> okay, Tracy. So then, y'all, hold on, y'all, because I know. I know I'm supposed to have that up there, but I don't be liking all that shit up there. Is that the best one I got? Yeah. So anyway, 
So then the plot thickens, right? Uh, oh, D derail is where I left off. So as soon as Ness ends, UTC, YTC, but me in my head is YouTube. Why can't I give memberships? The button isn't working. Don't worry about it. I, I appreciate you. I don't want I, my memberships as, are ten ninety nine, so you wouldn't be able to give but one. But it's okay. Thank you. Anyway, so as soon as Ness is over. YTC goes live. Guess who's in her chat? D. Durrell. He says to me, I really like your panel decorum. Queen Sassy. This is right after I asked for the apology. Okay. I said, hmm. Okay. I said, mm-hmm. Because y'all know how I am. I said, mm-hmm. He said, LOL, I guess it's just going to take me some time to get to know you. At that very moment, D. Durrell was good in my motherfucking books. You know why? Because I did not have to teach this motherfucker how to treat me. He didn't have to throw no money at me, okay? He didn't have to beg for my forgiveness. We are all human. We all misspeak. But we all, at a certain age, should be self-correcting, right? We all should, like, step back and say, okay, I might have made a mistake here. And you should do it quite expeditiously if you want to fuck with me, okay? Especially when you have been proven wrong. So from that minute on, no problem with D. Durrell. He looks, sounds like he's a hardworking family guy that like a little pussy on the side, okay? But I ain't judging, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is, but you should have paid that pussy because Lord Jesus, your pussy was mad, child. Your pussy was mad. Did y'all hear that? That puss mad at his YouTube pussy came up on here. I said, ooh. But anyway, ain't my business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not falling for anything, foot soldier. I just laid it out. Ain't no big deal. Shit. I mean, I don't know that. I don't know. Him. Ain't no big deal. Like I said, self-correct. Y'all don't know about that Wanda Matthews? Oh, child. Anyway, but I ain't gonna get on, I ain't gonna get on D Durrell because he's been nice. But it was a whole little story. I don't know how I mean sometimes people miss shit, child. But anyway, another time, another time. I got I got I've been on here a long time and I gotta wrap it up real quick because I know y'all want to hit the panel. Um, D Durrell, that was just a good example of how you need how I expect to be treated, right? I'm gonna do the same for you. If I make a mistake, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you don't have to teach me how to be a lady. Uh, I'm going to correct myself and we're going to move forward. You know what I'm saying? But so that was just a good example. Hoodie, no problem with him. I liked the first time he kind of got caught up is when he said something about not wanting to be with gay men and a whole bunch of female energy, which I thought was a fair statement. He just didn't understand how much he was going to love the beef sector and what the energy gave. So it might have been a misspeak of sorts, but it wasn't anything offensive. It was just his opinion. And I understand that as a heterosexual man, like looking leery on what the people have told you about the sector. Right. But he didn't continue to say it. He did tell the truth about that he has said it, which was a big thing for me and a big thing for most beef sector people. You really need to be transparent, you know, uh, and authentic. Right. And I think that's code's biggest issue is that he doesn't not he doesn't come across as authentic or transparent. So um, he has, you know, but it's half and half. I mean, at least he has half of the beef sector. I mean, this nigga literally like modded up 50 people in the beef sector. And gave probably like $75, but he spread it out over 10 times. So I guess it looked like he was giving money. That nigga ain't got y'all no money since, at least uh, in front of the scenes that we could see. And he got, he reaped all the rewards. So his little game is, is manipulation, brute force game is working for at least some. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I ain't no hater. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving commentary. So it is what it is. Just like I think it's working for the ladies. In regards to getting their coins and i say ladies because i know some gentlemen are probably getting some coins behind the scenes but generally speaking uh when people say that they're talking about ness and brie right um uh, but they're so i it, it, it seems like a win-win on all sides right and then they're sending the gay boys money behind the scenes because obviously they're probably a little bit concerned about how they're being viewed um, and don't want to be seen giving gay men money in public, which is weird because if you weren't gay, what does it matter? But I don't know. We want we don't want to um, get into too many assumptions, right? Um, so anyway, 
So then, like Hoodie, seems like he's real cool. He's a funny dude. Um, definitely. But my and then I don't really know Stefan. I've never I've not been able to talk to him. He seems like he's a nice guy. Um, but it he it is odd. Like I'm not, you know, Stefan, I know you're here. I'll get to know you, but I'll tell you that. I don't know. I didn't know if you were part of Code Fam or not. You know what I'm saying? And I still don't know who who was a part of Code Fam. I envision them being some secret society who is on some troll mission um, to see what they can get. Like it's all fun and games for them, which is cool, right? But the the it's not it's not surface level trolling. I think they are like real trolls in their real lives, right? Um, so it carries a lot more weight. Uh, so again, I'm not sure who's a part of Cold Fam and who's not. I don't think that's like anything that you guys are going to tell the truth about. So even if I ask you, are you a part of Cold Fam, or you tell me that you're not a part of Cold Fam, I'm not going to believe you. I just want that, and I don't want to be disrespectful in that assumption. I understand it's and it's an assumption, but it's just because of the way that you guys moved or and or moving um, that you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna believe you. Stefan is an un, is an unofficial member of Code Fam. Okay, Beachy, and I know you come from over there with them, so that's very interesting that you said that. Um, they're trolls in real life, like literally. I think, uh, yeah, they're trolls in real life. I won't say that because I don't want to get personal, but um, they're not even paymasters. Unlock. It's not a whole bunch of money. It it it's manipulation to make it appear as a whole bunch of money, but it's not a whole bunch of money. Right. I mean, it's just not, you know, but anyway, hey, Saida, I don't even see you, but I see people speaking to you. So then, you know, the whole raw B and her involvement in it, I thought was like really raw B's blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of just kind of always being a part of the mess kind of very beach ish right very beach ish like you look up and then she's in it and you'd be like damn where you come from how you get in this shit with these niggas so that um you know raw has told me abby to abby sassy i'm not a part of cold fam um i'm not involved in it and i told her back to her abby abby to abby i don't believe you now her boyfriend is involved. It's really odd. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of fascinating to see like how big is this web, right? So I actually did, did not want this to be um, about the sassy show because I'm just one person in the sector, right? Like I, they have big platforms to go to um and to you know to promote themselves i never thought about it like i'm gonna click this link and i'm gonna turn everybody again I, I, that's not my energy right so it, it was they made it about me which i thought was interesting but again not understanding just like simple social cues and how to deal with different people we're not a monolith over here but i think you guys thought that so now let's get on so i don't know who's involved with this code fam. But in my mind, they're like some pseudo criminal organization that is way, way, way overly invested with pseudo YouTube fame. And they will do any, almost anything and everything, including lie, cheat and steal, including making up doxing, including doxing themselves, including, you know, um, going to the police. And I just think that it's no holds barred. That's just what I think. And that's what I envision. And that's just how it is, right? I'm not trying to influence anybody. This is my commentary. Let's talk about the women. Now, I would have loved to like the women, right? I heard Miss T. Pre, I think, first. And I was like, she's giving, she's giving Cookie and Tracy had a baby. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. I mean her demeanor, right? Like, she's, like, very pleasant with the Tracy, you know, like, kind of demeanor. But then she's, like, stabbing niggas in their esophagus. Like, take that, nigga. You know, I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, bitch. So I was like, ooh, okay. I probably will like her. But then it's, I'm confused because I guess she just doesn't like Shaquem. But I guess she does really like code. 
But so I'm confused. I, I don't understand. And then who is the girl who's who's Beach's first cousin? Uh, what is her name? Starlight, star bright. First time to start tonight. Starlight, star bright. Yeah, you must be my. I imagine her dancing to that song like with her with her with her ring light. You know, with like ten people in the chat. She's fine as fuck, you know. She's one of those people that can't give up her old hairdresser and they don't know the new style. So just fuck it, bitch. We about to put these motherfucking pink rollers in your motherfucking hair and sit up under this dryer with leg warmers, no doubt. Definitely leg warmers. So then I'm prepared to like her ass, but I, when I tell y'all, you motherfucking women, let that motherfucking ass have. I said, Lord Jesus. And then Pizarro, oh, bitch ass. <laughs> Pizarro, bitch ass. <laughs> Pizarro, bitch ass. Pizarro, you are so fucking mean. Hey, D. Darrell. Pizarro, you are so fucking mean, you mean ass bitch. This motherfucker comes over there. You want to come on my show and get, get out your all of your disgruntled feelings and talk to the people? Man, Beach First Cousin was like, fuck yeah, I do. I can only imagine fucking Code. His Code's kids are pulling at his fucking legs, fucking pants leg. Daddy, daddy, you said it, you, you said you were going to spend time with us. You said today was our day. And he's like, uh, I got some, some important happen at work. Some important happen at work. Meanwhile, baby, he is not about to miss star gates. I'm going to call it starlight. Cause I, I don't think that's offensive. He cannot miss starlight's uh motherfucking appearance on Pizarro. That motherfucking star is lying and manipulating and brute forcing that goddamn wife and kids. And they're like, no daddy, but no, you were going to teach us how to be black today. And he's like, Oh, just call tiger woods. Kid. Just call tiger woods kids. God damn. I told you I got something to do at work. Some, some, some very important happened. Some very important happened at work. That motherfucker closed that goddamn motherfucking extra room door. That's where they had to put this motherfucker. Because he stayed there for goddamn 13 hours a day. He had to, he closed that door. He got one of them goddamn, one of them old school locks on that bitch. Don't let these, these motherfuckers don't come in here right now. Don't come in here right now. Daddy is doing CIA code work. Told these little motherfuckers don't come in here. His wife trying to cook, baby. What do you want? I don't care. What, I don't care what we eat for dinner. I don't care. Ramen again. Yeah, ramen. Fu, fu again. Fu again. Fu again, motherfucker. I don't care. Shit, I got to go see Beach Cousin, nigga. What the fuck is going on here? All these goddamn interruptions and shit. Man, that motherfucker couldn't wait. Here go Pizarro. <laughs> that motherfucker let that bitch up there. I mean, I'm just calling you a bitch uh, uh, because that's my vernacular, but my bad if you don't like it. That motherfucker let that starlight bitch up there. Then she tells, uh, what did, was it Brie when she said Brie come up here? Because <laughs> she didn't even know how to be faint. Now, I don't give a fuck about me and Pizarro and our little fights and shit. Now, that motherfucker didn't know how to be fake. She was like, um, so tell us a little bit about yourself the whole time. She's like, shit, y'all motherfuckers getting the goddamn drift. We about to jump this bitch. Hashtag beef sector. She running tests and shit. Fifi. That motherfucker over there running tests and shit. That motherfucker gave them about 10 minutes. These hoes finally get it to fucking gather. Them motherfuckers click that goddamn link like they was in the background. Like, bitch, you go. Now, 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 bitch, we fool. Now, bitch, let's motherfucking go. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> hey, Maverick. Hey, Reese. You didn't know Sassy is a comedian of YouTube. Spill that hilarious. Oh, hey, honey. Uh... It was like, y'all, one of my favorite things in the Olympics is motherfucking synchronized swimming. I love the fact that they can even do that shit and just, I love synchronized swimming because I'm a really soft lady. Okay? Because I'm a really soft lady. 
So I love the mother. That's them motherfucking beast sector bitches did a synchronized goddamn swimming on beaches, cousin. And they motherfucking won the gold. I, my feelings were hurt for her. Now I'm not going to take it from her now. She was trying to swing. But she had to take, she, that motherfucker had to bring out that motherfucking AK on them motherfuckers, and she was missing. They was ducking and dodging. And I mean to tell you, if it wasn't one, it was the next. But you said, but you said, uh -uh, God, it take me in. But you said, but you, I said, God, 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 let the bitch breathe. Let the girl, allow the girl to compose herself. Because in my mind, Starlight is supposed to be their sassy. Now, I know that that's, that's a bit much. I get it. But that is, that's in my mind. Oh, we about to bring this bitch over here. Oh, she, she, this, this our top bitch over here. So in my mind, she was supposed to be their sassy. And I was, I'm all for, you know what I'm saying? I was all for getting to know the bitch. You know what I'm saying? I like cute bitches and I like bitches that think they cute. You see what I'm saying? Then here come cousin Dunn. She spills the tea. That Starlight was trying to fuck with Lemon. Or Lemon was trying to fuck with Starlight. Yeah, she is cute sometimes, ZX. She's kind of, she's cute sometimes, and then sometimes she not. She one of them people. So I'm assuming that she's cute in person. Because I don't think I'm very camera, uh, what do you call it, photogenic and all that stuff. So I get it. But yeah, yeah, she ain't ugly. That's for damn sure. She ain't ugly. No, no, I don't think I have them wrong. But thanks, Gemini. That's just your opinion. But I don't think I have them wrong at all. She's cold fam, and she, and cold fam thought that and this is my opinion that she was going to be able to in, endear herself to us, and there thus they would have, you know, some kind of end. Now they could they could they could clown her. They can clown her. Yeah. But she's part of their, but she's part of the cold fam. So you see the oxymoron there? Something going on. So then Starlight is, I, I guess, told to proposition Lemon, which now we're getting into deep, dark trolling. Now we're getting into almost um uh, i don't know if it's malicious oh lemon lord jesus here he is y'all who we trying to do an intervention on your motherfucking ass i don't think i don't know but now she's either propositioning herself on behest of code fam or something like that, which is just fucking weird. Again, y'all see what I'm going? It's not just surface level trolling. This is like, if you do this, then this will be the outcome, right? And we're okay with fucking people, fucking up people in their real lives, right? So it's like, wow. Okay, that's, that's weird. So, but Lemon, of course, this is the reason why we have to have handlers on Lemon at all motherfucking times, because had we been there, hey, Madam Scorpio, had we been there, then Lemon would not have been susceptible to it. You understand? So, Lemon, we're currently trying to get somebody on you 24 hours a day, and you don't really have a choice in the matter. We've already voted. We've already made that. Um, we, we've already ma made it a go. And so at this point, we're just trying to assign people for you at every single hour of the day. I already doxed you. I know exactly where you're going. Uh, every hour of the day, every time you click somebody's link on YouTube, I'm going to pass it along to the person who's supposed to be handling you. And that's just how we're going to handle that. Okay. All right. Yes. A help group of sorts. Al CB. Al CB. Al CB. I don't know. Okay. You know who I'm talking to. He needs a 24 hour handler, period. And so they fuck Starlight up, okay? No, no doubts about it, but who's not gonna get fucked up off some off a gang of beef sector bitches? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Who who can handle that? So I'm like, damn. But I'm still not against her because I thought that she did a a a a, a uh, 
reasonable job. And I also were with my, my beef sector people, women in thinking, I, 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 I agree with their assertion on her, right? Like she, she could have mitigated that had she done a few things differently. You understand what I'm saying? So the caping for Brina and the, you know, the N-word conversation and then whatever else. And then they jumped her ass. But let me tell y'all where it switched for me too. Now, I, I don't dislike the girl. I think that she could be like fun or whatever, you know, or like I said, beach-like, right? It's just every time I see her around, I'm just going to assume that her handlers have told her to come ingratiate herself. That's just how it is, right? So I don't dislike her, but I see her, right? Hey, something sweet. But where she messed up, and I know her leader, Cole fam, told her this, but I like smart girls. Now, you can't just be, you know, I keep saying pretty, 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 but all my bitches is smart, okay? And for you to make the assumption and actually come out of your mouth and say, well, why I well, why does it matter if somebody's calling you out of your name and calling you bitches and hoes? Aren't you guys the beef sector? You really care about that? Hey, the ghetto view. Say what now, bitch? Come again. Come the fuck again. So did somebody tell you that the beef sector hoes don't have any standards, any decorum, any cooth, any boundaries? Did they tell you that? They was motherfucking wrong. And this is what you and your homeboys got the fuck. You, 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 you fucked up. Why would somebody tell you some shit like that? Did they tell you that we were, we were all uneducated? Even the uneducated motherfuckers over here got some education. Let that sink in. Catch that. Did they tell you that we were all low lifes and low hanging fruit? that our vernacular, that our pronunciation was off, that we were all just ghetto, slimy rats that just walk around holding our invisible dicks and calling each other bro and niggers. Is that what they told you, honey? I would beat that bitch. Whoever is doing reconnaissance, baby, I would beat they motherfucking ass. I would be like, now why in the fuck did you not tell me that they that that these this is this is not these bitches. Hold on, I ain't got my glasses. Sassy, the handler has to be a complete stranger. He won't listen to people he knows, but let it be a random, and they are his B F motherfucking F. Well, let's take a moment of silence. Mm, mm, mm. I'll mute. So who, when she said that, I knew exactly what that meant to her. And see, as a pseudo, see, because Beach Cousin, you are a pseudo intellectual. You are a pseudo bougie. For us, I don't call myself an intellectual. I'm not well read enough, but I am a bougie and I am highly intelligent. Okay. But on, in the temper centers, there are intellectuals, there are high level professionals, there are people that eat chitlins and people who understand the streets, but they are temper centers. So a real temper center and a real bougie in my opinion almost like one on one oh one oh one not one on one one oh bougie one oh one know your facts you know the bougies read by touching you in your spirit and the only way you're gonna touch a nigga in their spirits is to slow the fuck down and understand who you're dealing with okay so that pseudo bullshit y'all trying to bring over here, it's ridiculous. It's not, it's, it's ridiculous. And the ones who it is working on, and let's talk about the thirsties real quick because I want this to be known. So a lot of people want to blame the CCs that are inviting them um, for networking or whatever. I don't really understand that energy. I don't really understand that energy. Um, don't block Red Wings, but uh, 
remove his comment for me, guys. I appreciate it. Um, the only what were I, what, where was I at? I was talking about what you call it the the pseudo bougies and all of that. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. But anyway, we are not a monolith, right? Um, that's just that was weird for her to say that, right? That was just really weird. For her to say that and to believe it and then to like i don't know if the panel it was a lot of stuff going on but not only to believe it and to say it and to apply it as if am i wrong are you guys not all just fucking just weirdos and and low lives that was weird to assume that like and i just don't understand if you had even been watching us for two months that you would have thought that. So it that's okay, whatever. I have to move on. Oh, I was talking about so the the I was talking about what part of code's manipulation and his plan and from their own mouths is to come over by brute force and take a few of you guys with them, right? Okay. But I have to say that blaming the CC is a little odd for me. I mean, you guys are subscribed to them. You guys got them monetization. You guys are so enthralled with hearing recaps and analysis from people who don't even know you, who don't even know the sector of the people that they're talking about. So I don't really understand why y'all are place, placing the blame. I think you, I mean, I think you guys should look in the mirror and come to the grips of yourselves that you're, you like the male attention you're a little enamored or more than enamored with the attention that they are reciprocating back. Um, and, you know, dare I say it was a little too long for you to just stay over here with this, you know, female. Hold on. Get tro trolling hoes. I'm sorry if y'all already got it. Um, but get trolling hoes. Uh, actually, block them. Just block them. Um, but I think that it's a little silly for you guys to pl place the blame on other CCs when you don't. I mean, you literally don't have to watch. And I will speak to the not watching. I will. I will give cr some credence to some of you guys' argument. But it's not just here that you guys are having to watch them. You guys are literally going over there to watch them. I'm seeing you in chats caping for them. Niggas, let this sink in. Caping for Negroes that you just fucking met. That to me, if they not paying you, that to me means that you are, you were desperately looking for male attention. That and, and I'm not even judging it because I already know how that works. See, I keep men around me. Okay, I'm a soft feminine woman and I must have masculine energy. Okay, even my gaze is masculine. So all that says to me is that y'all, you know, it, it's been so, it, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. And y'all really, I don't know, I don't really call it male identified. Some of them are male identified, you too. But you like a lot of weirdos too. Yo ho, I click on your shit at three o'clock in the morning. That Your shit is just full of like serial killers. Uh, and, 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 and fucking weirdos. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on over here? When I don't know if, I don't think you're necessarily male identified. You just, you like, you, I think you just like male energy, but you, you keep your male energy on your page. You don't never try. You don't try to put, put them off on us. Some of them are pick me's, not all of them. Some of them are pick me's. Some of them are male identified. And some of them are just, God damn. Can, can I, can I just hear a man talk? I ain't heard. I ain't heard a straight man talk in such a long time. I just want to get out my real southern voice on them and just be, I just want to be so meek and weak and all. I, I'm just so masculine and I just tired of it. I just want you to just cuddle me and just hold my hand, sir. Kind sir, I love you, kind sir. You are the best thing this pretty little girl has ever seen, kind sir. 
Oh, kind sir, I'm waiting on you. What is your cash app, kind sir? I can't wait for you to notice me, kind sir. Oh, Lord, when is you coming back on, kind sir? Oh, don't worry about it, kind sir. I, I was going to go over to them other people's chat and I'm going to confess my love to you. Don't worry about it, kind sir. I know I don't know you. I know I don't have the common sense to vet you, sir. I'm easy. I'm an easy bitch, kind sir. I'm what you call an easy bitch. This is why all my relationships end up in goddamn may, just mayhem, concert. That's all they got to do, concert, is just show me a little attention. Oh, Lord, I can't wait. When is Code Fam coming back on? Oh, Lord, it's the weekend and Code Fam is with his family. Oh, Lord, when, when is you coming back on? Oh, is that Shaquille? Oh, Shaquem, cut that bitch out, kind sir. Oh, kind sir, it's okay. I'll be here to placate you, baby. I don't give a damn how you fit, how you treat these bitches, kind sir. I like it when you cuss them out. I like it, sir. It makes my underparts tingle. Because I know you would never treat me like that. Oh, kind sir, can I? You know what? Your car is dirty, baby. Can I wash your car for you, kind sir? Oh, Lord. Oh, you know I you know I subscribe to you. And every time I see those bitches talking about your kind sir, oh, I get on their ass, kind sir. I do it because I like you. I love you, kind sir. Oh, okay. So if that hits your motherfucking ass, bitch, it's for you. Bitches for you. Bitches for you. I said, look at these motherfuckers. Bitch, you don't even know them motherfuckers. Why you just can't be normal cordial? Kissing ass and all that shit. Coming over to the goddamn B sector talking about who the fuck they. You don't know them motherfucker. Shut your dumb ass up. Can't stand no dumb ass weak bitch shit. I'm telling you not to like the motherfuckers. I'm saying, God damn. Have some dignity, bitches. Oh, fucking weirdos. Then uh, they they the main ones. I, t I see the truth. I tell the truth. You ain't got the truth long enough to expose this motherfucking self. The fuck is you talking about? You probably got a bomb ass nigga on your couch as I'm as we speak. I'm okay with paying your way, kind sir. Oh, you just sit on this couch and you just watch all the YouTube you want, kind sir. I'll be back home. I got three jobs so I can make sure your ramen is hot, baby. Get the fuck out of my face. Anyway. So bottom line, listen, I don't give a fuck about them niggas. <laughs> shit, shit, them niggas give a fuck about me. And that's how it should be. I'm a reciprocator, okay? I am a traditionalist. You first, nigga. You show me the way, nigga. I'm going to reciprocate. I'm not going to start no shit with you. Don't start none. It won't be none. But I will match your motherfucking energy, okay? And I ain't going to do that but so long. Because I'm going to tap the fuck out. I'm not going to be sitting on no panel fighting with no niggas. Are you crazy? I'm soft and soft. Supple, darling. I don't have the energy to fight with you niggas. You, you niggas fight like niggas. I'm a whole lady out here. And y'all think I'm about to go forth and back with you? I bet I won't. I can't and I shan't. I can't and I shan't. How dare you to even suggest such? Are you not used to dealing with women? With soft women? How dare you? I'm offended by that. Don't don't do that. So that was on my only issue. I, I still ain't gonna be clicking on motherfucking links and talking about y'all. I'm not gonna be harassing y'all in chats because I never did. If you try to spin a narrative on me, I may or may not feel like a motherfucking dressing it. I don't know. I don't give a fuck really. But if you knew sassy, then you would have already known that. 
the biggest dick rider in this chat licking your ass, Sassy, but wanted MHB to continue his doxing spree. Who was that? Oh, you talking about Z ZX is fucking retarded. Y'all know ZX didn't have water for like three years. You know, do you know what that'll do to your brain cells? I don't give a fuck. I know God, ZX been a hot fucking mess. ZX ain't beef sector. Fuck ZX and welcome. I don't give a fuck. But thank you, cousin. Shit. But anyway, so that's just that on that. There is no in negotiation. How dare you to suggest that there would be a negotiation code? There is absolutely zero negotiation. If I have a mod stick, don't come in poking at me. I find that to be ilk. Ilk. Leave me the fuck alone. That's it. Or you'll get timed out. There is no motherfucking negotiation. Okay? Take it or leave it, nigga. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. But hate and all that stuff, that's not sassy. I don't have that in me. Okay? I do not have that in me. I do not care. I do not care enough. Um, it was something else at the tip of my tongue and I forgot y'all. Damn, I forgot. I am going to drop the link. I ain't about to be up here forever. So click the link. Listen, listen, Linda. This is how, let me repeat how this works for the new people. You're not going to be posted up here. I don't have, I'm, I'm not trying to get into no argument with you. I'm tired as fuck. I didn't put on the wrong goddamn thing. When I got out the shower, I put on this goddamn Christmas ass onesie. I'm hot as fuck. The air is on. I guess it, I, it must be, hot. I don't know what the fuck. I'm irritable. Okay. I'm trying to get to my motherfucking drink and order my food. So we don't do that over here. Hey, Bobby, honey, you come up here. You say what you got to say. I say what I got to say. And you get off the link and next, next, let the next person up. Okay. You don't know. We ain't sitting up over here. Anybody want to use any part of this commentary? It's a hundred dollars. There's no discussion needed. Fuck. And y'all know what the fuck I mean. Beef sector don't even use my shit. So I ain't talking to you, you, you motherfuckers. Anybody else that ain't beef sector. You want to use this shit? It's a hundred dollars. I'll see it in my cash app. We don't have to have no discussion. You see what I'm saying? I like, I like clean shit. It's, it's, it's clean. A hundred dollars, no negotiation. I'll see it in my cash app. You, that gives you privileges to use it for one live. If that live is 15 hours and y'all want to sit through goddamn four hours of sassy, then go for it. But I don't give a fuck. No clips, no other usage. One motherfucking live, a hundred dollars. Okay. You ain't lounging at sassies. And not unless you know who you, you, you know, the motherfuckers who can lounge understand. The motherfuckers who can lounge understand. What's understood does not need, okay? All right, y'all. Well, let me drop the link. I swear to God, I hate that I forgot the last point that I was going to make, but hopefully it will come back to me. Um, I forgot how to drop my link, y'all, Okay. Y'all, I didn't even complain to y'all, but I have the worst sinus headache. Oh my god, it's so uh, but I knew you hoes weren't gonna take me being gone too long. I was like, these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about no goddamn sinus headache. There goes the link. Uh damn, I hate that I forgot it. But anyway, so the ladies of the of the Umar sector, hey, I don't know. Beach's cousin, girl, I don't know. Oh. Oh my God, I cannot believe I forgot my most favorite of the Umar sector. That goddamn passive, fluffy, puffy clown, conscious energy. Oh, I love that motherfucker right there. Oh, now I love that motherfucker right there. Ooh, now that is a, what is wrong with that nigga? That nigga crazy, hold on in the back. Now that's something wrong with that motherfucker right there. And I like it. I can't believe he stole that motherfucking lady money like that and gonna up there with all them motherfucking excuses and shit. He's a trashy clown, but I like him. I'm, I don't even know how to do my shit no more, y'all. Isn't this crazy? Whew. Okay, sorry. Maybe I do. Oh, no, that's background. Where is my... Ooh, y'all, this is so crazy. Rodney. Hello. Hello. Little cute booty. Little cute booty. I can't even call you little cute booty no more because I don't want, you know what I'm saying? 
Because I don't <laughs> want them, them motherfuckers thinking that, you know, I'll be like, damn, they uh, -uh. uh Sassy, you can keep calling me that. that damn them. You, that, damn them and what they think, okay? Okay, baby. But I, you, you see what I'm saying? I want to be respectful. And stuff. You know what I'm saying? We in mixed company and shit. Right, right. Yeah, so I did a live earlier, but I didn't have really too much to talk about because I don't have time like that on my hands anymore. You know, I have a lot going on in my uh, personal life uh, right about now, you know, with my dad and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it did okay. It got like 500 and some views, but it might get more than that a little bit later on. But uh, mm -hmm. but but it's not about all that. I come on and, and shoot the shits with people and but I, you know, wanted more to talk about. But I, like I said, I don't have time like that anymore. I just don't. Yeah, I mean, I got, I, you know, I can dig it. Hey, Dot, it's so good to see you. Money bags, you drop the bag, but it's all good. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's an inside joke. Everybody who knows that joke knows it. Um, yeah, I totally get it. Um, what did you think about the live today? Were you were you still live when I was live, or did you were you able to? See uh, you no, live? no, I don't. I don't think you was live yet. Uh, I only stayed on for like an hour. You know, a few people okay. came up. Benz came up, T Lolo came up, and um, and Ken Nola came up. Uh, well, awesome. Ken Nola, hold on, just just a second. I know I, it sounds like your live was great. What did you think about this live? Oh, this live was. Oh yeah, it was. It was the bomb. Yeah, yeah. You talked about a variety of stuff, and that's what I like. Yeah. Oh, thank so, you. Honey. I really but, appreciate that. But yeah, but like I say, I didn't have really multiple stuff to talk about. I talked a little bit about ZX and uh the the fried chicken challenge and all that. So. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it did. It it was okay. It it was all right. My life was all right. It wasn't all okay. day, but it was all right. It was all right. Gotcha. Well, thank yeah. you so much for coming up and letting us know about your live. And uh, anybody, I'm sure they'll you're in their notifications, and I, um they'll will they will uh, watch your replay if they so choose. But I really appreciate it. You have a good rest of your Sunday, okay, babe? Okay, I sure will. I'm dropping down. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Cha. Um. Hold on. Let me drop the link. Anybody else want to come up? Uh oh. Sorry, y'all. I don't do. I don't do all that pen and all that shit. I guess. I mean. But anyway, if nobody has anything to say, we can get on out of here. It was. Um. Yeah. Y'all that know me understand that uh, I'm very comfortable with going live for two or three hours and ending it as well. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, back, Becky. <laughs> Done. Child, why he came up here with all this free promotion? He didn't pay a dime. Why he do all that? Well, he, you know, he, you know, I don't look at Rodney as beef sector. I thought he was Tommy Satomaura's sector, but he has. A He's not beef sector at all. Okay, and but he, he had, came up here promoting. Right. But we are very cordial. And, you know, that's just Rodney's shtick. Right. So I'm not offended by it, but I'm not going to listen to it too long either. You know what I'm saying? Two things can yeah, be true I just, at the same time. I just feel like he showed up to your house and instead of taking his shoes off, once he got up uh, in the front door, mm -hmm. he didn't take his shoes off. He just tracked mud across the carpet. That's how I felt. He Rick James me, bitch. He did. My God, oh, Rodney. Did. Why would you do that in my nice shit? All he had to do was take his shoes off and act right. But you know right yeah, is. that's all I had. That's all I had to say, Sassy, unless you have something for me. I don't have anything. This was a great show. I appreciate that coming from you. I really do. And you know, I know it's the truth. So I I mean, I'm saying I know it's the truth through you. I, I don't determine that until after I re-see it because I don't know what the fuck I just said. You know what I'm saying? But you coming mm -hmm. from you, I'm going to take that as a A++ plus plus because you like having an Asian mom. No pun intended. Um. Okay. Let me <laughs> all right, baby. Well, well, I'll see you on these streets. Um. Let me let the next person go. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye, honey. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can. I can. How are you? 
All right. Hey, this was a dope live. I ain't, I ain't going to even lie to you. Like, I was Thank laughing you. all throughout the whole live. Oh, my like, gosh. Thanks. It didn't, it didn't seem hey. like it was that dope to me because it's, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate it. That's what's up. <laughs> I, I, did, I knew you were funny, but I didn't know you was this funny, though. Like, um, you, you, yeah. you funny, especially with the sass, not what her name is, up anything. Oh. oh, man. That took me out. Let me I ask swear you. to God, that looked like her. Let me ask you: Is she gonna be mad, or is she gonna see the humor in it? What's your guess? She, I think, I think she gonna laugh at it. I, think I, so, I don't think right? that. Yeah, because it, it was funny. Me, yeah, she hasn't been messing with me, so I wanted to be funny. I, I'm not. I wasn't trying to like get her too bad. You know what I mean? I, I thought it was her though. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was her. Yeah, but... Man, my doxing don't. Maybe me doxing. It's on point. Now if that motherfucker be mad. I got some more for. I tried to tell the Uma boys about you. Like it seems like you the only one that they can't get to. I, right. I, I I'm gonna just tell the truth. You the only one that they can't manipulate the the, the, the little coins that they giving because that ain't nothing but coins. Uh, that they give it, it ain't gonna, it, it can't reach you. So they trying everything in their power to, to, you know, to try to get to you, but they really can't. And I told them you different. You've been ignoring me for what three years before Never. we got cordial? Never. And you had to apologize publicly exactly. and, and without me asking for an apology. That's the reason why it happened. Period. And still was ignoring me until right. right. <laughs> uh, oh no. Until I you saw my behavior changed. So they got a they got a hard fight, but it, it look look at talent. What's up, talent? <laughs> What's going on, Ken? How are you? Sorry, I didn't see you. I'm so chilly. Thanks. Oh yeah, continue on. Nah, it just I I just enjoyed the live. I mean, you you hit everything. I, you hit it in the ballpark. I, I liked it. I ain't gonna I, lie. I really appreciate I mean, that. I'm Thank still here. Me. Okay, okay. Well, that and that's a good thing, right? Because you know we'll move around in a minute. So I appreciate what? it for sure. Well, I got one more person. Sexy. If you what? need me to fight one of them, just. Okay. I'm a nigga. I, I, you on the top of the list. What I'm, so I'm talking about. I want you to get nasty. When I say go, nigga, it's go time. You, you talk about the churn. No, 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 I can't do that one. I can't do that look, one. Look at <laughs> you. Can't, you can't, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> See y'all later. I forgot. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I got one more person in the back. <laughs> ZX. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. How are you? I'm great. Doing better. Um, I just wanted to come up and congratulate you on your show. Also, I think your uh, assessment um, is is the next stage of the game. I think you have turned the page on what was going on. And now it's about to go to another level. And I could not uh, agree with you more in the way that you see things. I actually, you know, feel the same way. Um, Excuse me. Excuse me, buddy. You, you've made, you've called Sassy a, a trans woman multiple times. Are you here to apologize for that before continuing anything else? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know who you are. If you're not going to apologize, get okay. off the platform. No, 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 no. When I come to your channel, you tell you talk. You're on my channel, Goofy. Don't don't do too much now. He gone, but you. <laughs> I mean, this uh, clown. Yeah. Anytime he sees somebody with a large audience, he wants yeah. to come in, and these weirdos in these various sectors will allow that nonsense. Yeah. Hey, that 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 deep voice and all that nonsense doesn't work over here, clown. We have money over here, clown. You're a broke guy that your mom is telling you to be quiet when you're in her house because you don't have any other place to go, bum. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, I wanted to I wanted to tell you. I came up here. I wanted to tell you that you know, you've been away for a while and this comeback. If I didn't do this, I would <laughs> I would hear about it. So I got to tell you publicly this is one of your this is one of your uh what i would call a classic live you did a very great job 
Thanks, um, Langston. That, no. You know, you on the you you you're higher than the Jay Dunn level. So that's uh, that's a great compliment. Thank you. Yeah, no rust at all. You just came right back in. It was like, and we had that little joke about, but it was like, you know, mm -hmm. you Omar. You Omar now. <laughs> you Omar. They right. Yeah. Omar coming. Omar, Omar coming. coming. Omar coming. Yeah. So you, yeah, you on some you on some different set now. You you taking it up a level. So I, I really wanted to tell you publicly, because you know a lot of these clowns in these various sectors, they very concerned about our relationship. Are we dating? Are we not? Are we, how, who broke who broke up with who? Right, I right. mean, you know, just speculating, hoping they can get some crumb to make, you know, kind of fit their narrative. And I, and we don't give them, we don't give them shit. Not nothing. And, and, that, and that makes some of them mad because they don't know. They don't know. They never will know because we're adults. We're, we're adults. We interact with each other like adults. You, somebody was surprised, asked me some stupid question a couple of weeks ago. You remember it when they were talking about, uh, uh, I guess you yelling, you know, and me having to tell you to set up, you know, <laughs> and, and like I'm, I have to tell you. To set up. <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of reasons I wouldn't tell her to set up. First of all, it's sassy, and, and, and second of all, it's a, it's a woman. And now I've been on countless platforms, and this is the tired story about Paulette Waters. Curse me out said it sounded like I had come in my mouth. I mean, she got filthy. Lord. She got she got filthy. And I just I thought it was funny. But she she did it a little too long. Then it got a little awkward. I'm like, uh okay, it's five minutes and you're still talking about this. But the point of this story is to tell you, and Paulette and I are, are really cool now. I love me some uh, Paulette. But the point of the story is because People always try to justify why these these men should be able to disrespect women, talk under their clothes, call them the B word. They'll give a pass to gay men. I, you and you know, I know this is going to rub some people the wrong way, but I deal with professional women, and professional women aren't going to be allowed to be talked to any type of way, regardless of your sexuality. And and I, I think, and you know, and Nikki with the iPad said a long time ago, Langston, I almost slipped up there. <laughs> Let me hurry up and get off here. But Langston, don't, you know, don't try to tell women what they need to be doing when there are things that men are doing and other men need to be instructing them about. So I do respect that, so I'm, I, I I kind of pull back on what I really want to say, but I, I I'm I'm glad that there's women like you and other strong women uh, in in the beef sector and in other sectors that put their foot down and demand to be treated with respect. And when I see these women, these these so-called strong women, see the beef sector, a lot of these beef sector people perceive because you have a loud mic or you can curse like somebody like Kwani, they feel this is somebody you should listen to. Not realizing this is a this is a drunk with relationship problems who was so insecure that she had was crying because they didn't want to meet her. You know, Sean Bradley and Club Chat didn't want to meet her. Crying. There's, there's a visual evidence of this. So it's not make believe. She lied about heated floors when they had already doxed her on various platforms, sewing the, the little Santee that she lived in. So when she lashes out at me, which I'm sure she's going to come for me again, she's going to call in to question my sexuality. Like, like that surprise. <laughs> yeah, for those of you women who think doing those type of digs with me doesn't matter to me. I don't know you wear those. And anybody who would dare to suggest or question my sexuality lets me know off the bat you're a clown. And I don't respect clowns. And the ones that try to talk to me, they'll know that I just ignore them. You can say whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I got a great life. I would turn on my camera, but sassy, you know, she doesn't want me to get, look at her, look at her. You know, she, she doesn't want me to get too 
out of you know out of character up here. But I just wanted to come up here. I don't want to get too because I can talk. I could talk for a while, just like you, Sassy, as you know. And I I, I don't need to take notes. I don't need to uh, have a lot of people uh, uh, on the panel with me. And I like this type of discourse, the type that we're having right now, Sassy. I like that peaceful conversation. You know what? I, I'm glad you said that because one of the things that I thought was really odd that, uh, and I and I have MBK in the back, so I'd like for you to just stay up here until then. But um, when Code suggested, and I think MBK can correct me, but it was either him or somebody else that they Code suggested that the reason why I believe he was saying the reason he why. Yeah, Ness yeah, I remember that. was was handling her her uh, trying to handle her platform the way she was was because of Kim and he suggested that there was no other um, uh, examples of that in the beef sector. Again, just such a, a it, it's an ignorant assessment because you don't know us. I this is how I've been running my platform since I started. Miss T Velocity runs her platform like that since she started. Five J. Jay Wilson and, and James Caldwell don't even have to drop their link because the show is about them. You know, Demetra never has, she don't even have to drop her link. That So it's like to, to, to assume, see, that's that assumption again, that we're just all just yelling and screaming and cussing each other out. And we don't, right. and that's okay. Cause we like that too, but we, we're, we're, we're not all the same. We all have different types of ways of, of handling ourselves. And I assure you that Ness has had examples of how to handle a panel. That's just not how she wanted to handle her panel, I guess, as uh, until as of late. But they had nothing to do with you, or maybe it did. Maybe maybe Ness was wanted to listen to you and, and not us. We don't really care. But the suggestion that it had not been happening before is just a falsehood. Let me let MBK up real quick. Oh, sir, sure, sir. Sure. Hi, MBK. Hey, 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 what's going on? What's, what's good, talent? This is my new buddy. No, I will say though, I will, <laughs> I, I will say that your, your diss track that was hot. That that was dope. That Thank was you. that was good. Thank you. Um, hey, did you know? Hey, hey, real quick, MBK. Do you know that they mm -hmm. had a little? They had a little. Uh, it was on Limits panel last night. It was I saw it. I, I, I'm gonna talk oh, about it tomorrow. He, he, yeah, but you he, do you know that he, I lost? I lost. <laughs> you lost. It was three yes, to two. Lost. It was three to two. And who I would have thought would have voted oh, for yeah. me and would have won it for me would be my my guy. Yeah, come on. JC. JC. And I was so surprised. I said, Oh, I, I thought know, you Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I was yeah, saying. I thought the same Trezor, thing, yeah, I thought Trezor would have had, had my back. I was like, <laughs> God, I was I was like, oh, I was so close. But but you know, the thing is, code has communicated to me, and you can see it on his wall. He knows I actually it was I have the better track. He knows that. And anybody <laughs> anybody with a brain knows that. But you know, I understand people like to take jabs, then they try to reduce my music. Uh, it's AI, not knowing I make music, I make the beats, I write the songs, and I know how to create vocals for You're myself. Yeah. But I don't but that but but good. told me not yeah. to get too much into the into the weeds in regards to this. Yeah. But go ahead, yeah. okay. But you, you could you could you could tell though because the song is put together well. It, 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 it's it's put the, it, that was it's good. It's really good. That caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. You know, no, but Cold Cold was Cold was real good too though. Yeah, but no, his was good. His was good. I, I do have so, to admit that. So so this is this is what I want to say, right? I'm I'm going to save my commentary for tomorrow, right? Because that's no. one thing the, the commentary. But I want to comment on the presentation. Um, I have to be honest, yo, that was fucking good. <laughs> that was that was really good. Um, the presentation was solid. You 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 that was good. You you didn't really you embellished a little, but it was acceptable embellishment. Like it was good. It was for it was for the entertainment. You you got your points over. You told the story. I like how you walked us into. You went to Breeze, and then you we drove you crazy, and then you went to Ness. You know, I was walking with. It was good. The, the whole thing was good. I, I, it was an excellent presentation. I have to give you that. Now. Some of the things you said, uh, you were stretching and reaching a little bit, but it's cool, right? Got to give me the opportunity to say what I'm gonna say, you know, uh, you know, when my time comes. But uh, on the presentation itself, it was dope. I can't front. You, you did an excellent job. You delivered that shit. That's why you didn't see me typing in the chat. <laughs> okay. Not one time. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate so, it. And well, I, that's what's up. I appreciate, it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming up. All right. Y'all take it easy. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Hey, bro. But uh, that was Hold really, on, real quick. That was really nice. Uh, so, so, yeah. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Okay. So, I only came back up because. I was arguing about how long it took you to write your music because when we were reviewing it at Nessus, there was a debate on how long you took to write your music versus how long Cole took. So how long did it take you to do your um, response? Um, it took an hour of writing while I was watching UFC. I knew immediately when um, Cole put in the, in the comment of his uh, video, he said he hoped talent would you know, do a diss track and respond. And I was already thinking about it. And I had the name uh, Break the Code. That's a, oh, it was going to be Code Breaker or Break the Code. And then it just took an hour of just jotting down some things. And then uh, it took an hour for the beat because it was kind of a simple beat. But the chorus took about 30 minutes. The mixing took 30 minutes. And since I didn't, you know, this, this you, the only way you can view my thing is through a link that's not because i you know i have an actual artist channel and you know i can't mm -hmm. have, i can't have this type of nonsense to the public excuse you know, me excuse me really quick eggy do you have a song for me that would really really make this live if you do that would be great oh is that eggy I, I, yeah. man, I haven't seen, i haven't seen that clown in a while yeah come on up buddy excuse you what you know, I call, you, you know I call everybody. It's a term of endearment. Oh, know? okay. Okay. Go ahead, you guys. Go ahead, JD. Well, I was just only asking you because I planned to ask Cole how long it took him to write his music in the morning, but I want to ask you first. Oh, yeah. So I think it the, the whole thing took about two, 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 uh, two and a half hours or three hours. That's all. Okay. So I, I'll give you three hours. Okay. So that's what it took you. So I want to see what Cole says because I think that it took him like a couple of days. Pur oh, let me get Purple Pizza flowers because look, Purple, um, I think also Key Lolo, it, these, this is true talent. We have some uh, talent. The women here are talented rappers. We thought we had a Dragons as well. And that should spark your memory about your Dragons commentary, which you left out. But I'm, you know, I'm glad you did. Because I don't want to hear about dragons, but dragons was another one that we that is really talented, and uh, it's good to see. And that was kind of the it was kind of the inspiration, but it kind of wasn't purple. But I do want to give you your flowers anyway. I want to say but that talent, unfortunate. Hold on, real quick. I would I do want to say if you guys did not hear Langston's rebuttal hashtag the ether then it is on my community wall for you guys to um check that out after we end the show go ahead John. yeah and i'm gonna get down after this but i just want to say unfortunately talent mm -hmm. dragons is very talented but it landed her in the hostel okay um oh and also oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. also before i leave because i know zx came here they said that man was up in the hospital was you reading the chat yeah, yeah, he was in the hospital. He gave me a few yeah. a few months oh. back. Oh no, right? no, 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 oh, let me, no! Let he me, was just let me up explain. in there recently. Oh hold gosh! On hold on, okay. we got we got to establish some stream yard just, management. Come on, and just come hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> See, I I have this conversation oh with uh, oh my gosh, daily J Dun. Maybe you can help me with this, boy. I, I hear I hear <laughs> limit. I hear yeah, lemon. Yeah, I hear lemon. In we got to start oh, arguing, y'all. Stay, okay. stay tuned. Okay, look, so this is what I'm talking about: the over talking. You see, it has become it has become a serious issue with the intelligent people in this sector. We don't want to hear all this yelling. We don't want to hear you content creators keep telling people yelling, will you be quiet? If they, <laughs> you give them one warning, you kick them off so they can compose themselves. You <laughs> content creators look like imbeciles when you let the inmates run the asylum. This is your platform. Mm -hmm. And you come off as soft and losers when you let these clowns mm -hmm. just do all this nonsense. What but were I you about to tell you. us? Thank you so much. What were you about to tell us about uh, ZX in the hospital stint? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this clown ZX. Yeah, get on topic, Langston. Yeah, uh, <laughs> look, look, look. You know, I, I, I really, if I could create a channel, I would, because I got a lot on my mind. But oh, look, let me, 
but let me let me say this though. So I'm scrolling through my feed and I see and, and you know I am subscribed to that clown ZX. I subscribed to him like about six months ago, just because he, you know, he's such a, a wreck, such a train wreck. So anyway, he's laying up in this hospital bed eating, I think, French toast and dipping his French toast in his syrup. <laughs> and I'm looking at his wall and I said, that looks like a medicine cabinet. I said, it looks real. It, it looks like a, like he's in some type of a, a really low rent um, hospital. Um, and he's laying in bed and then he, and this is his content, keep in mind. He says, you know what would be fun? Let's go over what I'm going to have for breakfast in the morning. And he pulls out the breakfast menu for the hospital. And that was his, you know, I had to turn off after that, but he was laying in the bed eating this, uh, this very suspect looking breakfast. And I was like, man, oh man, because he was just in the hospital not too long ago. So we may not have, have him around too much longer. The streets are saying there's a, a a uh, death pool uh, between uh no they say it's yes. a death pool between ZX oh my and god. they said also Rob Rack. Oh my god and and, and smart money is on Rob Rack. <laughs> I cannot so see but go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Anyway. And sassy, that's what I was trying to tell you because you thought that I was talking about something that was long ago. No, this happened today. Girl. Today. So that's why I'm shocked that he clicked your yeah. link trying to <laughs> Trying to get all rowdy and talking about he don't know who Langston is. Well, let me show you who he is. Lord Jesus. Meanwhile, Lord. he up in the hospital bed eating applesauce. <laughs> I am not laughing at them, Lord. I am not laughing. My, my cheeks are just like plump like that. I'm not laughing. All right, then. I appreciate you uh, coming up. I am ready to go. Um, well, okay, bye. Put me on the big screen honey. for my final words. Thank you. I cannot stand you. Hold on. Gee, how do I do you like that? Hold on. Oh, I don't know how to do you. Okay. Look. look. I don't know how to do I it. I know. I know. You You like that, that one? Does that look cute? Like that? Me being small, pushed to the side? <laughs> no. No, not so much. What about this? Do you like this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's me out completely. Well, you've already kicked me out completely. But, Be quiet. Go. Yeah. But no, I do want to say this in all seriousness, because we got to put the trolling aside sometime. Um, look, I know you were gone for a long period of time. And I know this first live, there was a lot of anticipation for it. So I know, I know you didn't have any nerves about it or anything, but, you know, subconsciously, I know you probably may have thought, do I still have it? And I want to tell you, because I could have easily saved this for later, but you still have it and then some. So I just want to say good job and I'll talk to you later. Bye Langston. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, you don't want to leave. Oh, he didn't want to leave y'all. Well, thank you guys so much. You guys stuck through it the whole time. I super duper appreciate it. Y'all know I'm about to go. I didn't even see my cash apps. Anybody that sent me a cash app, thank you guys so, so much. I super duper appreciate it. Um, thanks to the Umar boys for not being scared to either drop down or come by. It is what it is. Um, you know, I, I still don't fuck with y'all, but I ain't, I'm not going to be fucking with y'all either. And I would appreciate the same in return. Thank you, Living, for the uh, fantabulous um, super chat. You are a sweetheart for doing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to my mods. I love you guys to death. You guys are always um, showing up and showing out. Are you saying who to? I don't know what you're saying who to. Um, anyway, thank you, guys. We're going to go out here with my last thoughts. Y'all know my songs mean something to me, and this song... I, I, I assure you, I, I seriously, I mean this, okay? So I just want all the niceties are cute, but I stand strong in what I'm saying. Hold on, y'all, people. I, oh, that's my damn Amazon child. They I, I didn't order too much shit. Anyway, y'all, it's a blessing. Middle-class problems, right? Robin, stop fucking trolling me. I'm so sick of these whores. All right. Bye, y'all. Y'all go ahead and twerk on the way out. I'll see y'all on the street. Smooches, everybody.
Oh, God dang it, y'all. I don't have it ready. I hate when I do this. Hold on, y'all. I'm always doing something to these tabs. It's like I inevitably get rid of my tabs because I can't stand a lot of them. So hold on. Sorry, Charlie. Oh, I just got another cash app. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Sorry, now I got to switch to my other. Oh, child, I don't have time. I didn't just fuck the shit all the way up. But at least y'all can say bye to each other. <clears throat> I wonder who who's going live next. That I did not check. Do y'all know? Y'all tell each other in the chat whoever's going live next. Okay, now I can say bye. Oh my God, I just took for fucking ever. Bye, y'all. Smooches to everybody. Have a great work week. Bye. We can win this. You got to see this.